Hey, what is up, guys? This is John from Magic Tech View. How are you guys doing today? I am doing great tonight. Uh, so we have some phones that are uh, coming out for Cricket Wireless Metro PCS. I have some information, so let's go ahead and get right to that um, here in just a little bit. And also, I wanted to be live with you guys. I, I was live with you guys at the pizzeria. You guys, you guys saw me with the with the pineapple pizza. Everybody's hating on the pineapple pizza, man. I love pineapple pizza. But or not pineapple pizza, Hawaiian pizza. But anyways, let me know if you guys are in here yet. So we do have a new phone dropping for Metro PCS uh pretty soon. Now I'm gonna say right now, I don't know the full specs of it, but I do know it's coming for sure 100 percent Uh Cricket Ninja did tell me, so we can go from there. We can pretty much tell what it's going to be i'm assuming uh once i give you the guys the name uh, we can all look it up and see what it's going to be about i'm going to reiterate the cricket wireless one that's coming out again and then we're we also have some uh new promos coming out man people just want to give me all the information man i love it but today is like the day dude today is the day so everybody's getting uh everybody's getting notifications that i see What's going on? The individual, Daniel Welch, what's going on? Cart, David B, William, JJ King. It says Key and Vape says, hey, I got a new apartment. Nice, nice. The individual, 22K. Yes, sir, we made it. We crossed the thresh line, apparently. Bodyguard, Kean, the dark figure, Chris Stevenson, Robert Hughes, Amanda, Pokefan. What is up? Uh, let's see, Pittsburgh fan, Jose Perez. Yeah, man. Hey, I actually ran across a teacher today, um, a teacher today, and she's actually going to, I'm actually going to donate my uh, the microphone, the wireless mic that I don't use. So that was uh, pretty nice of her. She subscribed or whatever. So hopefully she will watch this in the future. But, yeah, she's going to come come to the house and, and grab the wireless microphone. Uh, she uses it for her class. You know, her class, I guess, uh, she said that she teaches like sixth grade math. And they're pretty shy, so they, you know, their voice doesn't carry, I guess, across the room. So, so yeah, man, I'm gonna donate the donate some wireless microphones to the classroom. I'm not using it, you know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, Ultra Instinct, what's going on? <laughs> share the wisdom. Yes, I am gonna share the wisdom with you guys. I am gonna share the wisdom with you. No problem. Of course, I am. I am. All right. So. Okay, so for Metro PCS, the new phone is going to be let's actually let's nothing much, just bored. Yeah, yeah, same here. So guys, let's let's go ahead and I guess let's turn this into, into a little game. You know, I like how I like how the comments and the interactions go. Let's turn this into a little game or whatever where you guys try to uh pick out the phone or whatever. So Thankfully, you're curing a bit of this curse. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely, definitely. Oh, man, I don't know. Man, Little John has not <laughs> been sleeping, so I feel I'm, like, so, like, right now. So, let's see here. ZTE Blade X Plus, LOL. Nah. New ZTE phone, I wish, man. For Metro PCS, nah. It is an LG. No, it's not an LG. Not an LG. It's not an LG. It's pizza with pineapple. Penis, no, they're, not, they're not releasing a pizza with pineapple. ZT Blade, Z Max 2, I wish. I would be like, my eyes would be like this right now. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. Motorola. Nope, it's not a Motorola. Hey, Pittsburgh fan. 21, thank you. Thank you for that $1.99 donation. Metro Rover Plus. Nope. Nope, 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 no cool pad, nope. Shout haven't seen the company yet. Haven't seen the cut. When I see the company, I'll let you guys know. Note nine? No, 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 nine. No, no, nine. So, no, no, nine. iPhone now. Now, I will tell you guys if it's on Apple and iPhone. No. That's for sure, no. I know what it is. HTC? Nope. OnePlus? Nope. I wish, man. I'm not that excited about this. 
What's going on, Kenneth Marlin? Google Pixel, nope. Huawei, nope. Nope, 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 nope. So it's a brand that I really don't like too much. Nokia, nope. No Motorola, nope. Nope. Uh-uh. No Motorola. Blackberry, no. No, that's definitely not a Blackberry, guys. Oh, man, this is funny. This is funny. Somebody said, somebody kind of said it. There we go. Zender, Rent, and send Samsung. Yeah, it's going to be a Samsung, guys. It's going to be a Samsung. Da -da. It's going to be a Samsung. Samsung. What's up, Tech Rants? What's going on, man? The Puke Mix 3. <laughs> no, it's going to be a Samsung, guys. It's going to be a Samsung. But yeah. But I actually got official word from an official MTR Ninja that this phone is coming. So. That's why I'm letting you guys know the J7 Star. Yes, it's the J7 Star. I know, boo, right? J7 Star. Four point. Does anybody know the J7 Star? Uh, the J7 Star's uh, specs off offhand. And I also wanted to tell you guys about the cricket phone as well, you know, the Tetra, whatever. But does anybody know the J7 stars, like what what it's gonna be like offhand? Because I don't know. Like all I all I was given was a name or whatever, but I don't know the exact specs of that. T Mobile has that phone. Okay. Oh, T Mobile has the website. Okay. Boo, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. So, hey, hey, news is news. News is news. I didn't say it was going to be a completely brand new phone. It is a new phone that's coming to Metro PCS, though. So, oh, well, let's go ahead and look. Let's go ahead and look. Let's go ahead and look. Okay, Block Shaker. Here we go, Block Shaker. Share some information, man. Tech guy Mike Killer, what's going on? So, Block Shaker is giving us this rundown. It's going to have a 600 megahertz antenna band. It's going to have facial recognition. Oh, man. Is it a brick? Please tell me it's a brick. Yes, it's a brick. It's a brick with Samsung written across it. <laughs> Here we go. Zenderen says 5.5 inch HD TFT display, 13 megapixel rear facing camera. Uh, 13 megapixel front facing camera, onboard memory, expandable memory, 3000 milliamp battery, 1.5 quad octa core facial recognition, NFC Bigsby. Hmm. Hmm. Where is CV Tech tonight? I don't think that it looks exactly like, damn. Damn, it looks exactly like J7 Prime. Wow. Wow, dude. Yeah, but I, ha I basically have official confirmation. That this J7 Star, damn man. Samsung man, I don't know what Samsung is like. What's their deal, man? Samsung will not bring out the hype, man. They will not bring out the good, like they will not bring out the big phones, dude. Why won't they bring us the big phones? Uh, it's that light blue color. Okay. Hmm. Let's see here. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah, guys, that's basically the J7 Star. Um, cricket phones have too much bloatware. Yeah, I agree, man. They do have quite a bit of bloatware. Oh man. Samsung has the hype on the S9, S9 Plus, and the 9. Yeah, I know, man, but they need to, like, bring a little bit of hype for, for other, like, for, you know, the lower end, man. What's going on, Nick? My ZT Max XL can't play PUBG. Oh, really? Okay, Block Shaker says... Samsung is conservative when it comes to prepay. They cater to more of the older folk. Why is the name coming out before the rebranding? 
what do you mean the name? The phone? Okay, so Cricket is new is confirmed for 929. No, it's 928. Can't wait for data caps to just go away. Ian Taylor, what's up? Okay, Robert Hughes says, what's the best free phone Cricket Wireless should I get? The best free phone right now is going to be the uh, Lady Red be able to tell you. The Cruise, the Motorola Cruise right now. The Motorola Cruise. <laughs> Mustard Inc. says, introducing the Samsung String and Cup 2.0. Oh, my God. The only thing I don't like with Cricket is their call feature that you have to wait 10 seconds. Oh, why is the phone coming out before the rebranding? Oh, I don't know. No, I don't know when this phone is coming out. The J7 Star, I don't know. All I know is that it's coming soon. Hey, Lady Red, what's going on? Rebranding of the company is what they... Okay. Oh, the new Cricket phone? Okay, the new Cricket... Hey, Brandy, Houston, what's going on? Okay, I, got, I can tell you guys about the new Cricket phone as well. So I got, basically, I got hit up by two emails. I didn't even check my emails, man, today. Uh, so thank you guys for that information. Basically, uh, two Cricket Ninjas at the same time pretty much sent me out um, sent me out the information, you know. Then I also got this, I also got this little sticker. I also got, I also got this little sticker from Target because my Minecraft is cool. Um, but anyways. Oh, guys, I got to tell you a story. Matter of fact, I got to tell you a story about the puke mix. I got to tell you a story about the puke mix, all right? I'm going to tell you a story. I'm going to tell you a good story. So I did I did a, I did did an activation on the Octel puke mix today, okay? I did an activation on the Octel puke mix, right? So the Octel puke mix takes a nano SIM card, all right? Now, what is this? What what kind of SIM card does this look like to you? What kind of SIM card does this look like to you? So, what kind of what kind of SIM card does this look like to you? This is what came inside the box for the Alcatel Pulse Mix. This is a micro. Yes, this is a micro. This is clearly a micro. Like when I opened up the box, it was a micro. SIM card in the freaking box. Okay. So I'm trying to I'm trying to activate this phone. I'm trying to activate this puke mix phone, which takes a nano. Send me an invite. Okay, cool. I'm trying to I'm trying to send you all right. I'm gonna send you an invite right now. So I'm trying to activate this phone for this lady at, at Target or whatever. And they included a micro SIM card. Like what? All right, live. What's like? I sent it to you right now. There, CB Tech. Sorry, bro, for going, man. I had to go. I had to go though. Like, bro, like. So I literally Metro has three and ones. They to resize them because the core prime took the big one. Yeah. Yeah, this one. <laughs> I was yo. I was like, what? Did they really? Did they really send me, or did they really just include a micro SIM card? They didn't. They did this, this shit was not cut. It was not cut to, to size. I literally had to take out my blade. I had to take out my blade and cut that thing to make it into a nano SIM card to stick it into that woman's phone. That's terrible. Okay. So I could tell puke mix. No, no, just no. Go home. Burn that thing with fire. What I hate that phone. I it's hate not that bad. Phone. It's not bad. Huh? It's not bad. I currently it's own. It's not bad. I currently own it, man. It's not that bad of a phone, dude. I cannot believe, bro. They, there's a micro SIM card, and the, they they can't even include the right SIM card, dude. Uh, I got the right SIM card in mine. Mine's Nano SIM. Yeah, I know. I know. I know what the thing takes. It literally is a micro. Like, and I'm not even like, like I'm not making it up. That's why I bring. I bring the little sleeve. This is the one that came off of the. This is literally the one that came off of that sale. 
But but I wonder I wonder if it is the manufacturer's fault or if Cricket may have, may have put it in there by accident. I mean, just just because Alcatel makes it, don't mean you know. I mean, I don't I don't know how that works. I mean, does does Alcatel include the SIM card or is that something that Cricket does? I don't know, at, bro. At I really fact. don't know. I've never seen I've never seen that happen though, where they just don't include the right SIM card. Like how how ignorant do you have to be to not include the right <laughs> SIM card? Like, dude, like you're at home. Like, okay, I activate the phone, put the money on the card. Da, 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 you know what I'm saying? And then all of a sudden, all right, I'm ready to activate my phone, and not the right. You got a point. You got a point there, but I mean, like I said, I wonder if the SIM card is, uh, you know, put it put in after the fact, or if it's, you know, yeah, because really, I mean, I, I highly doubt that whenever that whenever Alcatel packages their phones or Samsung or whoever, I doubt they have the actual SIM. I don't, I don't, I don't know how it works. I don't know how it works. Yeah, I don't know who. I don't know how. You know, I'm, I'm sure they put it in. Whatever. I, I'm not sure who stuffs the SIM card there at the end, but I'll be driving as well, so I might cut out here and there, and it's gonna get dark and everything. But it's all good. That's fine, dude. I just want to have you on the. I just want to have you on the broadcast, dude. I just appreciate oh, yeah. it, man. Oh yeah, absolutely, man. Man, I'm telling you, I I, I returned the Moto G6. Yeah. Uh, today I had to. Today today was my last day to return it, and I was like one hundred ninety three dollars. I got to get it. I got, I got to get my money back. Man, there's just one Walmart. They, they got. I mean, I, I hate to. I hate to say this, but they, they, these people. Oh my goodness! They need to learn how phones are. This, this this person was like, "Where's the battery at?" I said, "It's in the phone," and they're like, "But the but I can't get the back off." I said, "Cause the back of the Moto G six don't come off. It's got to come hmm. off." It's got to come off. I'm like, no, it don't. I'm like, I'm like, have you, have, have you, I'm like, have you not ever seen a phone with a, with a non-removable back? Well, mm. all phones have to have a removable back to, to, to look at the, uh, the serial number and, and, and all of this. I'm like, do you, I'm like, what kind of phone do you have? She said, I got an iPhone. I said, well, then you know, there's phones out there with non-removable backs. Wow. And I mean, these people at Walmart, man, I'm telling you, they need to learn some things. Anthony got, Belcher, I, what's going on, man? Thank you for the dollar donation. Go ahead. Yeah, I can't read comments either. So, I got, yeah, I can't read comments. There's a comment, sorry, but I can't see it. Okay, yeah, I'll let you know if there's a comment for you, bro. All right, cool deal, cool deal. But these people, these Walmarts, man, I mean, this is a this is a customer service, and I'm like, I'm like, y'all need training. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I was so triggered, dude. I was so triggered, like, cause I I felt so bad, you know, cause this lady, like, this lady, she uh, you know, you could clearly tell that she, she was either she was like homeless or something like that, you know, and I like she was trying to get a phone, you know what I'm saying? So I was trying to hook her up, trying to get her a phone. Uh, so she tried with Consumer Cellular. And consumer seller, you just have to buy. You just have to buy the phone, and then you get the first month for free, and then you, you know, you pay the next month or whatever. So I was trying to get her on that, and she had to pay like uh, what? She had to pay thirty dollars or something. Like, no, she had to pay sixty bucks for the phone, and then you got it for free or whatever. So you know, what I'm saying I was like, hey, you know, everything went, everyone went through smooth, but then she didn't have, she didn't have uh, like the address didn't match what she had and all that. And consumer cellular, they do like a soft credit check, you know. Yeah, it's like it's like a postpaid. It's kind of like a postpaid, kind of not. And a hey, tenant does tech, man. I see you, bro. I see you in here. Thank you for joining in. Um, so, so I yeah, I just I, I I was really trying to help this lady out, you know, like extra super helpful and everything. And uh, so she could get she couldn't get the the the, the consumer cellular because for some reason it. It makes it where you have to pay or you have to have auto pay if the credit mm. check doesn't go through. It's a really soft credit check. Like pretty much anybody, everybody that walks in there gets it. You know what I'm saying? But it's it's something that triggered it. I don't know what it was, but it's something that triggered it that, you know, she could not get do auto pay. Right. But she had Ace Elite or whatever, like the bank that I that I have. It's not really a bank. It's like one of those prepaid cards. Oh, yeah. Know? Oh, yeah. Ace Cash or whatever. So she was like, oh, it's okay. I have a card. I'll auto pay every month. 
You know, she slid the card. She, she had money on the card. Wouldn't let her slide the card. She had to have a bank. Bank. Uh. Yeah. So we yeah. couldn't. Like yeah. So we couldn't get on the consumer side. Like I was really trying hard to get on this consumer side of it. You know what I'm saying? Because she looked like she had been outside in the, uh, you know, in the elements for a while. And she's yeah. trying to get, you know, she's just trying to have a phone, man, trying to live, you know, just like everybody else. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. So, and then and then it, it went to Cricket. So I was like, man, you know, the, the Pulse Mix was the only, the cheapest phone on there. You know, she was like, oh, well, the battery pack, the battery pack would be great for me, you know. Man, we couldn't even, we couldn't even get the, uh. We couldn't even get the thing to activate, dude. Every Pulse yeah. Mix did not activate. For some reason, sometimes at Target, it'll, it'll I don't know, it'll just happen like that. It's just random that it happens like that. You yeah, know? I mean, I, I, I mean, I've had the, I've, I've had the Pulse Mix for a few days, and my only real gripe with it is, of course, I mean, you got, I mean, you got to look at it here. The price of the phone. I mean, some are clearing some out for like thirty bucks. Some are forty, fifty, sixty, seventy bucks deal, but that's still not a bad deal for for what you're getting. And honestly. My only gripe with a phone is the cameras are subpar, and the um, and the internal storage is bad. Okay, uh, I put all my games on there, all my apps on there. I'm out of storage, but I mean that's with any phone with 60 gigabytes of storage. Mm -hmm. But I mean I have been using it like crazy. I've played some really graphic intense games on it, and I have really just thrown it through its paces so far, and the phone has held up very very well. So, I mean, I, I know that people don't, I know that you hate the phone. I know there's those who can't stand the phone. But honestly, after using it for an extended period of time like I have, mm -hmm. the phone is really, you know, on par with a lot of other phones in that price range. I mean, I mean, really, honestly, I mean, the phone is straight at 59, like 79 bucks. You get the SIM card, you get the snapback and all of that for, you know, 50, 60 between 59 and 79 dollars so i mean what what are you going to really expect i mean you can't you know you can't expect like a, the moto like like the like a, like a moto supra you know specs you know in a phone that cheap but the phone you know it's not that really honestly i'm being honest not that bad but everybody has but everybody has, you know, everybody has, has their preferences you know mm. Yeah, I know, I know. It's just it kind of sucks because I couldn't help her out. Like I felt really oh, yeah. bad, you know. Oh yeah. I mean, I, I went to a store. I went to I went to a Walmart uh, down towards South Carolina uh, when I when I when I bought the uh, Idol Five S. Okay, the Idol Five S mm -hmm. is unlocked. Okay, no carrier yeah. branding is uh, it was, it was unlocked. They had four or five Idol Five S's. And four of them will not even ring up. I don't, I don't know if it's Walmart's system or what it is, but finally they got one to actually ring up. And I'm like, you know, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it is bad barcodes. I don't know if it's bad, you know, or what it is. But I mean, there's, I've had that happen to me before to the point to where it's like, you know, they've tried every phone they had, whether it be a Samsung, LG, whatever. And some, sometimes it's like they're just, like a batch comes in where they're just not able to be scanned and activated. I don't know. Mm. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. That's weird. And it, every time I think it's me, dude, I would, bro, I went through like tons of those phones just trying to get, <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. It won't, it won't. I went, I went to a, I went to a store one time. I think I was, I think I was buying it. I think I was buying a budget, a, a budget L, uh, LG phone. And I, and they, <sighs> and they took every single phone. And tried to scan it, and none of them would scan. It always say invalid serial, invalid serial. I mean, it was every every one they had mm -hmm. was saying invalid serial, so I couldn't buy it. You know, and I guess that happens sometimes. I guess sometimes a batch goes through, and sometimes you're the un uh, the unlucky one who gets that. The one, and, yeah. They were telling me that. Oh well, we'll have to do like a we'll have to do a, a ticket for the phone, and it might not get resolved for three days. I'm like, man, this lady just bought this phone today. Uh, yeah. Who wants to wait three days? I could say 30 minutes or an hour. You know what I'm saying? That's fine. Yeah. You know, maybe even two hours, three hours, six hours, three days, bro. Like, no, nah, man. And that's for the ticket to clear. That's not even for, like, that's not even, like, saying, yo, the phone's going to be working in three days. <laughs> and, she and she literally just handed me 80 bucks. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, no. Nah, I just told her to just get her money back and, you know, just. 
try try another store or whatever the case may be because it's not going to work right here. Yeah, so it, I mean, stuff, yeah. That, that happens sometimes, and it's unfortunate, you know. I mean, and, it's, and most of the time, it's whenever you really want want that phone or whenever you really need that phone that that happens. Yeah, it, it's, it, and it's I mean, or it's it, like people that really need it or in, in need. You know what I'm saying? It's not like mm-hmm. you, you know what I'm saying. You're like, damn, bro. And all the lady wanted us was to listen to some Bon Jovi. That's it. Well, she well, well then she she needed a sound back for that. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. But no, nah, not, but not seriously. I mean, I, I've I've been in that, in that position a few times, um, to where you know phones just simply would not activate, you know, and then they'd be a problem here, a problem there, and what when what's so bad. Whenever you go to a store, uh, it's like 30, 40 miles away, and you buy a phone, it seems to activate or whatever. Whenever they scan the serial number, you get it home, try to activate it, and there's a problem. And they're like, well, you have to go back to the store and have them do this or do that. I'm like, listen, I live 40 miles each way to this store. I can't afford to you know, just drive back there you know, every single time. And, 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 you know, the store, the, 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 the store scanned it. The, the the store gave the serial or entered a serial number. It was active, so it's a problem on y'all's end, you know. And then nothing mm-hmm. is done about it. Yeah, I know, man. I know. So yeah, no matter what, it, it seemed like no matter what phone I would have done that day. I don't know if it, it was just the activation. I don't know what was going on, but you know, I'm told there was a cricket across the street. So hopefully she, she you know, she go in there. I didn't, but I didn't want her to get charged twenty five dollars for the activation fee. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, and honestly, she's gonna go in there, and I mean, I, I guess the Moto E five Cruise is still free. With well, a port in, but she don't got a number to port in. So, oh, you know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah, so she's she's gonna get well. Excuse me here, but she's gonna get screwed at Cricket then without with without a port in. Yeah. So there's two two new devices coming um, for Metro PCS. For those of you that don't know or that are just joining right now. Uh, the J7 Star for Metro PCS that's going to be dropping soon. I don't know exactly when, but the ninjas did tell me that the Star is coming, so it's confirmed basically. And then also, I got uh, you know I got some some information from a Cricket Ninja. Um, you know, now let me let you let me tell you guys. I have no affiliation with Cricket. I don't work for Cricket. Cricket don't own me. You know what I'm saying? So, and I'm getting this information from. You know, wherever, man. I could be getting this information from, uh, what is it, 4chan. I could be getting this information from, uh, China. you know, China, EV leaks. I could be getting this information from wherever. You know what I'm saying? So I don't care where it's coming from. You know what I'm saying? But I I did get the information that the Ocatel, um, I mean, let me look here. The Ocatel, because, uh, yeah. Yeah, I heard there. I heard there was a there was a person at Cricket trying to get me in trouble. Like, boy, well, I don't work for Cricket. Get yeah, Cricket, that. Cricket don't own you, man. You right? say what you got people want to say. And they could they could pay me to shut up. I'll do that. <laughs> give, me, give me some money. Give me some money. Show me them dollar bills. <laughs> uh, uh, I was it. Mm? <laughs> Acatel Tetra. The Acatel Tetra is going to be launching October fifth. So, oh. but yeah, no, but yeah. They, yeah, he's <laughs> damn. He said no, thank you. I, I, I mean, seriously, why would a? I mean, that's what makes Alcatel Alcatel look so bad is they're dropping these phones that are super cheap. They got 480p displays, which really, honestly, seriously, 480p display. I mean, I can understand, you know, maybe have less RAM, less storage, but I mean, 480p display. Come on now, insane clown posse. Why am I blocked from? comment section on all of your videos because you my friend have said some really heinous and dumb stuff to me so that's why you are blocked so that's why that's why you're blocked sir um what's going on jamie slaughter <laughs> damn tech right said i could tell tetra is a piece of piece of absolute exactly Ooh. Look at look at look at y'all. Look, look here behind me. Look at look at them headlights. This guy is riding my rear end. I mean, it is raining. It is it's hard to see, and he's all over my rear end, man. You can see maybe, the headlights. Maybe, maybe he likes it, man. Maybe he likes your rear end. Yeah. Go ahead and <laughs> go ahead and kiss it. Oh dang. 
He said he can, he can go. So does that, does anybody want me to read out the Arkansas Tetra specs? Or is that going to make everybody puke on the screen? <laughs> now, that right there is something to puke about. <laughs> something, hey, hey, I like that line. Something to puke about. There you go. I might have to be. <laughs> oh, man. The, the, I mean, that's what I was saying. They're bringing, I mean, and, and now that phone's coming to Cricket, right? The, the Tetra, right? Yep. That's what I'm saying. They're bringing these crap phones that really nobody wants. They're going to sell them for 99 cent and pour it in or free or whatever, and nobody nobody wants them. But go ahead. I, I, I'm anxious to hear these specs. All right. You want to, you want to, yeah, you might, you might want to sit. Oh, yeah, you're already sitting down. All right. It says a crisp, crisp, get it, get crisp display. Doesn't say an HD display or a full HD display. It says a crisp five inch display with dragon trail glass to pr protect against scratches and cracks. That's listed as a feature. All right. Crisp. So it's not HD, not full HD, not. No. <laughs> it's, it, it's, it's, I think, I think it's a 54. I think it's a 54 by 480 resolution. That's what, what, is, what is Chris? What's Chris stand for guys in, in resolution? Crap. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> Quad core processing power with 4g LTE speed. Which, right. which will probably be the 1.1 quad core 210, which should be expired by now. And that's that's and that's that's and that's listed as at a bullet bullet point. It's listed as powerfully fast, powerfully fast, quad core processing power with four G LTE speed. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, great cameras, great cameras. Says five megapixel rear camera with flash. Thank God they at least include a flash. Holy crap. And a two megapixel front camera. That's going to man. That's going to, to to deliver some iPhone type photos right there, buddy. Oh my god. Oh, somebody actually gave me the definition of crisp: of substance, firm, dry, and brittle, especially in a way considered pleasing or attractive. Oh man, yo my yo my back is in a, in a fucking knot right now. I'm gonna take a great <laughs> I'm gonna take a great big poop on that phone, says Tech Ryan. <laughs> yeah. Great with great with big with big letters. All the and it says now another another highlight is all the space you need says up to 16 gigabytes of user memory and expandable up to 128 gigabytes. Oh man. That's what it says. All the space you need. Man, they promote. Man, the, t talking about promoting something that ain't really worth promoting. Man, I'm telling you, they are, they are all over it. I know convenience features, lock screen shortcuts to easy access to your favorite apps. I thought they were. I thought they were gonna. They were gonna list the lock screen as a feature. I swear to God, that's what I mean. They might have, <laughs> comes with the lock screen, guys. Holy shit! <laughs> Does it got a power button too? I know, right? Convenient power button. <laughs> oh man, the cricket man, cricket's gonna hate me for this one, man. Block shaker, thank you for those two dollars, man. Thank you for the two dollars, <laughs> two dollar holler, because obviously this one's getting demonetized. Going to hell in the handbasket with this one. Oh man, C cricket ought to just say another crappy Alcatel phone, not worth mentioning. The end. Camera features like instant collage, social square, and more. I don't even know what that is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, translate in real time. Type a text message in one language and send in another with the built-in Google keyboard. So they're literally they're listing the Google keyboard <laughs> as a fucking feature. <laughs> Oh my fucking god, dude! An app that you can literally... Oh my god, my head, my head is fucking hurting. My head is hurting, guys. Man, I mean, how do goodness. you list a feature to a phone? 
that comes pretty much. And, go ahead, go ahead, and, go ahead. And, yeah, and and say, oh, it, 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 it including G. I mean, all Alcatel phones include G board. I mean, it's who cares? I mean, come on now. I mean, why why mention that? And and I bet you Cricket's gonna be selling it for for probably a ten times more than it's worth. Go ahead. How much do you think it's gonna be worth? Because you don't you can't see the chat right now. How much do you think this thing is going to be worth? I want to say I want to say they're going to list it at ninety nine ninety nine, man. Android eight point oh eight point one Oreo and micro USB charge port, of course. <sighs> and it's going to be switching port in price is eighty. Upgrade or new. User price is eighty. Full retail price is eighty dollars. That is ridiculous. Who would pay eighty dollars? Now y'all know me. I don't like to trash phones or bash phones, but when there's when there's when there's a phone like that that's worth bashing, I'm going to bash it. And eighty dollars for that piece of crap. I'm. I mean, I'm sorry. I mean. Does it tell the processor? Because I, I know it says quad core. That could be. No. Uh, I'm not sure if it. I mean, hopefully they didn't stick with the 1.1 quad core 2T, and maybe they went with the 1.4 425. I highly doubt it. I mean, if if, if they can't even put a 720p display in the phone, they still ain't gonna put no higher power processor in it. But it says powerfully fast quad core processing power. <laughs> I hate to know what they, what their idea of a power, of a of a powerful processor is. I mean, cause I, that's got to be what it is. Though, is that one point one quad core two ten? They can barely push itself. I mean, now now if 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 whoa, dang it, I can't see nothing. Um, if they were selling that phone for like thirty bucks out the door retail and like free and a port in, I would say yeah, that right there would be a good phone for somebody who cannot afford a phone. You know what I'm saying? Who's on a really strict budget. Or just, or they just need a phone when they when they, when they pour it out, get a, just to get a phone. You know what I'm saying? It's like a backup or whatever. But seriously, there is so many phones out there, man. It's, how much is the uh, the E5 Cruise right now? Uh, retail import in. I don't, I don't have that pulled up. I mean, I think it, Miss Lady Red would be a sales. It's probably, it's probably close to the same price because I know that whenever. You, was it whenever you bought the E5 Cruise like a hundred bucks? Yes, the E5 Cruise was a hundred dollars. So, and the E5 Cruise would flat out stomp it, run circles around it, and so why not pay a little bit extra money and buy the E5 Cruise? Yep. Uh, let's see. So they're going to be offering Zizio cases with this thing. Um. Bolt series with holster for forty. I don't know. They had different Zizio cases. I'm. A, I always just get the same one, the same type. So this is a Zizio case, guys. Hmm. Okay. I, oh damn, the one that I have. No, that can't be. I don't think it's forty bucks at the one that I have. That can't be. No, because this is with a holster. So yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't. Want, I don't want to speak on that. Exactly, because I don't, I don't know, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, heck, I mean, heck, go to Walmart, but and, and if your Walmart sells cricket phones and buy a Moto G6 Forge for ninety nine bucks with a SIM card already included. So yeah, the, and the unlimited extra plan, guys, is uh, you know, starting September twenty eighth. So no more, no more uh, caps starting on the twenty eighth. All you gotta do is switch over. Yep. Okay, Frank Miranda says cruise port free upgrade. Um forty uh, forty nine for the upgrade and retail for ninety ninety nine ninety nine. There you go. And that phone would smoke, stomp, run circles around that new Tetra Alcatel Tetra phone. Yeah. The 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 cooler the name they try to make it, the worse the phone is. I don't know. I agree. I mean, the harmony yeah. or the what is it? The the fortune. The more it sounds like it's more expensive, the worse the phone is. Yeah, and I mean, I don't know. 
I mean, see, that's why Alcatel has such a bad name and a bad rap because they keep, you know, because because here going going into 2019 in a few months, they're still making these crap phones with a 480p display. I mean, I mean, really, how serious you can take a company when they say, "What kind of phone is that?" Oh, you know, this is Alcatel, you know. 480p display, very, very low power, you know, and it's basically a phone that should be free or they or they, or they ought to even pay you to pay you to take it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, dude, I, I don't know. Like, I think, I think, like, I think LG, I think they literally just like, they literally have like a book of names and they're <laughs> like, mm, they just like riffle through the cards. They're like, okay, stop. Leon. All right. Next one's going to be the LG Leon. Who the fuck, Leon? Who's Leon? Like, why? Did they... They, get, they, they they got a dictionary and and then they're just flipping the yeah, they flip they, they flip through and find a cool a so called cool name and yeah, uh, yeah. And they're like all right let's see uh, what's next the LG what's let's see what's another what's another name for an LG phone that came out uh, we had the Leon we had the LG oh my god dude I remember the cool names man they had the chocolate. Back in the yeah. day, you know what I'm saying? That was a cool name, man. Yeah. They had, it, 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 yeah back, back in the day, they, they, you know, the chocolate, the envies. Yeah, the but, chocolate, the envy. They had some really cool names, man, back in the day. LG Escape. Escape. <laughs> this, yeah, LG Escape. Yeah, the, the Rizzios. Uh, oh, the Rizzio. Yeah, like the Rizzio. What? 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 The Rizzio. Were they Italian now? We're going to the Rizzio. Is that... Rosato, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> they must have pulled. They must have pulled out the Italian Italian dictionary on that one, like. And the oh, the Ar Aristo. Now we're gonna be the Aristo. We're gonna be Artisto, Artist. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah, I mean. I mean what? I, I mean what? What? Where do they get these names from, dude? I really want to know. It's like. Oh, like I said, I believe I, 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 I that they just they just go in there and go into a dictionary and just try to find names that sounds cool, you know. Man, I don't know, man. They just the LG Vault was the best. Yes, LG Vault. Yes. Oh yeah, the the Vault was sweet. The Vault was a sweet. I mean, LG X Power, the X Charge. I mean, they're. I mean, they. Yeah, actually, those are. Yeah. Decent names, decent phones, work really well. But you'll but you'll find one LG phone that has six or seven different names, like the like, like the Rizzio, the Fortune, you know, uh, all these phones are the exact same phone, and they all they do is getting all they do is just change the name on them a little bit, and all it is, is you know, the Risto, and I mean, all these phones are just the same exact phone with just a different name for different Paltex, carriers. Paltex is actually LG Flex was the best name, yeah. Definitely, that's a good name too, LG Flex. Yep. Yeah, I'll give it that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it seems like they just put like a whole bunch of names on a wall and they just like throw it. You know, and they just throw a knife at it. Like, all right. And you, you know, you know, Samsung, they pretty much just use you know numbers, unless uh, numbers and letters, unless it's some of their budget stuff, like you know the, the J three. You know, you got the, the Achieve and you have the the Luna. Come on, the Luna. And you know, and the, you know, they have you know. I mean, this. I don't know. I don't know where they get these names from. The Luna, the Soul, the LG Leon. Like who's Leon? <laughs> like yeah. they, they, they must like they must have had a new check in at the company. Be like, hey, what's up, Leon? Hey, I, that's the new phone. We got it. They, they must we can name it. We can name it the all the awesome LG Leon. <laughs> I'm almost at my streaming spot now, so probably ZT gonna switch. ZT Blade Z Max. Oh, go ahead. Uh, no, go ahead. ZT Blade Z Max. That is a cool name. Yes, slicing the competition. Yep, yep. Hopefully they come out with the Blade X X2 Max, man. Uh, you know, that's supposedly that's coming. LG Metallica. So, go ahead. Okay, okay. So the, if they do release that new that, that new ZTE for cricket, what? What are you thinking about in specs? What are you expecting them to put in that phone? There's no thinking, bro. It's it's already out there on a spec sheet and oh, pictures. It is? Oh, yeah, I, bro. It looks I, I just like 
Go ahead. I, I seen a picture of it, but I didn't see any specs. That's kind. Of, that's why I was. I no, yeah, no. There's specs and everything for that phone, dude. What are they? Uh, it's like it's basically the specs of the Blade Z Max. Two gigs, thirty-two gigs of storage. All serious. That. I'm serious, I, man. I think I think what happened Thank was God. we were supposed to get the the Blade, you know, the GT Blade X2 Max on Cricket, you know what I'm saying? But we never got it. So that's why, because, I mean, you notice we had the Blade Z Max, and then it was going to be, you know, the Blade X Max. There was going to be, like, a, a secondary one to that, but we never got mm -hmm. it. I think that's when, I think that's when all that stuff went down, you know? Yeah, I don't know, dude. There's just so many names. I can, it was ATE. There's just so many names. I'm confused. Yeah, but, but I mean, that's, I don't know. I like, I like the naming convention of the ZTE phones other than oh, the, yeah. the Moto, the Motorola ones. They kind of confuse me. The G5, the G6, the G Play, the this and that. I don't know. They kind of confuse me a little bit. Yeah. They're always doing something. Uh, now, now it's the straight talk ones. Those are the ones, man. They, they be just, they be just putting their numbers like C5, 310. Like, Huh? What, what? <laughs> I'm supposed to get excited. Hey guys, guess what? The LG 510C3-2 is coming out. Whoa! Like what? <laughs> I remember. I remember that. I remember my. Uh, it was my brother-in-law, man. He was. I think he was asking for a phone or something for Christmas, and he, you know, he was telling his mother, like, I want the the C-562. From from straight talks, like, what is a Samsung? Yeah, yeah, Samsung. Like, <laughs> I don't has it. I don't think it's been like that for a while, right? But I think it, back in the day, it used to be like that, right? What's used that? To have like the the straight talk phones. They used to have those weird names. Some some of them still do. Yeah, uh, some, yeah, some of them still do. Hey, Miss Raider seventy eight, how are you doing? Miss Raider now, 78 is becoming a uh, – she's becoming a regular here, man. Yeah. Um, also, I don't want to, you know, say – I know we're all, you know, part of the same thing. But if you haven't, if you haven't subscribed to me yet, CV Tech, please do. I can use your subscriber, and I would love to have you as a viewer and, and your friend. That's right. That's right. So, man, so you're loving that Tetra, huh? Oh man, the best that's the best phone they ever, man. I'm telling you. I don't see how they done it. How they packed how they all that power. A, I mean, all that power, man, into a phone. <laughs> wow. <sighs> let's see here. Let's let's look at my live counts right here. So apparently look at that guys. Bam. Um, Whoa. Hey! Hey! Twenty-two thousand and one. One. Who was the twentieth thousand? Thank you. Twenty-two thousand. That's that's what's up, man. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to see your man. Your twenty thousand, twenty-one, twenty-two, man. It's gonna shh. right. So thank you guys for that. <laughs> Magic Tech, have you seen the new LGK30 that's out for Boost Mobile? No, I have not. Uh, yeah, um, the K30, honestly, um, I've had phones like the K30, and to me, it's a pass. I mean, it, it, it's it's not a bad phone for just everyday basic usage. Um, it's got enough power to, you know, do your social media. You know, it's got decent enough cameras to take you know, decent pictures. Um, stuff like that. It's going to work good enough. Got to have a good enough screen to be able to, you know, not have a problem with it. But for the $150 they're selling it for, it's just, I mean, it's just too expensive in my personal opinion. Um, cause I had it cause I, cause I had the, um, the LG Premier Pro LTE on straight talking. That's a K30, uh, pretty much without the fingerprint scanner. And it, you know, it was a good phone, a very, I mean, very good basic phone. The same born LG design, you know, inside and outside. But I mean, it's a, it, it's a, it's not a bad phone at all. It's just definitely not worth the money. If you're gonna spend one fifty, 
by the Moto E5 Plus. It's it's it's, it's going to smoke, stomp, and run circles around the K30. You know, so in my opinion, if you're going to spend that kind of money on Boost Mobile, just buy the Moto E5 Plus. Mm. Okay, and how about the? Oh man! So and then let's just get your thoughts one more time on the. Was it the new phone from Metro PCS? The Which one was that? J7 Star. J7 Star is just a pretty much pretty much a 2018 version of the J7 and everything else. Now they're they're not bad phones. Uh, I got I still have the J7 Refine on Boost Mobile. The processor is crazy. The processor is the Exynos processor, and it actually works very, very well. Um, you know, not much RAM. It's got plenty of storage, but the phone works great. It performs very well under, you know, you know, regular or even heavier usage. A gameplay works really good on it. So I really have nothing really that bad to say about like the 2018 J, J7s, like the um, the J7 Star, the J7 Refine, all these new J7s coming out. It's just that they don't have many features that people like nowadays. What's up, buddy? Oh, thank you, buddy. So, yeah, we, we actually got some medicine for little John now that so he can actually go to sleep at a decent time. This kid, man, he'd be staying up till six and seven in the morning. That's why you see me kind of tired usually. Um, yeah, yeah, and and uh, you know, it said Metro giving up the K30 for free with porting. Yeah, the K30, from what I've been hearing, the K20 Plus is a lot better phone than the K30. The K30, um, you know, was like a step backwards because Metro got Metro had the K20 Plus, which was an amazing, from what I was an amazing phone. Um, and then they made the K30. It was like a step backwards. So, yeah. Hey, bro. Yeah, man. That, yo, that medicine costs $40, dude, for a month's supply. I, I know the feel, man. I got three. I got three that I got to feel, man. I'm telling you. And they are, it's just pricey. That's very, it, very bro. pricey. And that's just for like something to sleep. That's not even like real medicine. Like, I don't know, you know? He's not even on Medicaid, dude. He's not because I, I make too much. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. They're gonna they're gonna get you any way they can, man. They're gonna do it. They're gonna find some way not to help you out. Yeah. Uh Michael Thomas says CV Tech, Cricket Snoop, Samsung phones are getting to are getting is going to be similar to the J7 Refine. Yeah, the J7 Refine is a really good phone. The cameras are really good, the processing power. I mean, I mean, I know people make a big deal about RAM. You know, to me, RAM is not a big thing. It's not a big issue. I've seen phones. I've used phones. I have phones with two, two gigabytes of RAM that holds RAM management very well. And really, you know, people are like, well, you know, two gigabytes of RAM, that's not a whole lot. It's going to do this, blah, 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 blah. Well, you know, don't have 15 tabs open in the background. Don't have 15, 15 tabs open in your, in your browser. Don't have 15 apps in the background open. Close your apps out, and it's going to work fine, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, but the processor in that sucker, I mean, is the Exynos 7885 and the J7 Refine on Boost Mobile, that is, and it's a little, it's a little powerhouse. It really is. Yeah. No, my wife won't let, my wife won't give me melatonin. She says if it's not prescribed by a doctor, she's not going to, it's a little junk. So. And, and I've heard that melatonin has some really bad side effects. Really? That's what I've heard. Now, I don't know if it's true, but that's what I've heard. It's natural, though, supposedly. I mean, it's a yeah. turkey, bro. If you eat too much turkey, that's what that's what makes you sleep. The melts only in there. Yeah, but, but that's, that's just, I'm just going. I'm going by what I hear. You know, what I mean, what I, you hear? Okay, okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, man. Um, shit, if it was me, man, I'd just give him some cough syrup. You know what I'm saying? But I don't give I don't give him any medicine. I'm not the medicine person. She's the one that gives him any medicine. So. Michael Michael uh, Martinez says I had to refine, didn't like it. Well, I, I'm not crazy about it, but when I, but what I'm saying is that the performance, in my opinion, was really good. Had really good battery life, and the cameras were decent. But the phone was just bland and boring. I mean, it was nothing nothing like a wow factor to it. But I mean, I, I mean, I didn't like it to the point to where like I'm like I gotta have this phone. I gotta have it. I want to keep it. No. Um, but I mean, as far as the performance, it performed pretty well. I mean, I've played some pretty pretty good sized games on it. It's worked good. 
Mm. Yeah, and he don't he don't get any he don't get any disability. So you don't get no disability, so it's not like I'm up here trying to get money for him and he gets this, this dude this kid does not get any disability. But <laughs> I mean, come on, like you like you have to I don't even I don't even wanna I don't even go there, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Michael Thomas says melatonin and ginseng. That's just supposed to help people. The king of sleep. Ginseng ain't good for your heart. That's I know. I know that for a fact. Yeah, man, it's crazy, man. They're like, I, I don't, I don't. I guess we got to prove that he's disabled or something like that. I don't even know. I don't even want to get into it with these people because if I if I have to go down there to them offices, dude, I, I I'll probably be leaving out in cuffs. So that's why I let my wife do that shit. So. It. Uh, S. Cooper, no, the J75 does not have fingerprint scanner. Does not have one. So, yeah. John needs to come down to Texas. Don't matter if you're working or all your kids get medical Medicaid till they're 10. Cool, man. What the hell? Yo, what's my cat? Oh, my cat's meowing like crazy. Let me see if Lil Zon's messing with him. Hold on. What's up, buddy? What's going on? So what's up, so what's up everyone? Okay. <sighs> These cats are meowing. What's up? Uh, I'm seeing a name in here that was, uh, for a while, uh, writing some pretty awful comments, um, on my videos. Which one is it? Take them out. I, 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 I ain't mentioning names. I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not that way. Um, I'm not trying to be that way. Um, Shit, put his ass out. I'll put his ass out. They know who they are. They know who they are. Oh, <laughs> lol, cat. Yo, this yo, this cat is like meowing like crazy. So I don't know what he needs. He need, he need water. He need food. Thought you returned the J seven refine. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> what do you want, buddy? Yeah, I couldn't afford that thing. What the cat? No, the J7 refine. <laughs> I was about to say these things are these things are kind of cheap, bro. They, you know, <laughs> say hey, buddy. Yeah, this dude's pretty chill, man. Yeah, but he likes wires. Hey, stay away from my wires, though. Don't be, don't be, don't, not, don't be getting this to my wife. Such a cute kitty. How old is he? He is. I think he's uh, five, six. I don't know. I'm gonna eat a kitty. <laughs> Oh man, this could be a kitty channel. We can just literally, literally look at cats, the cat all day. He likes my beard too. He likes my beard. He's a but no, nah, I, I don't want I don't want nobody nobody to block anybody. But I do want to ask. Um, ask him, man. Why is he? I can't pronounce the name. Shit. I can't. I can't. Pro shit. I can't pronounce the name. But uh, I I want to say it was uh was it, was it Nietzsche's Harris. Who was leaving some pretty um, nasty comments a little while back, or, or a few days ago, or last week, or this week? Um, what was the deal with that? He's still young. Oh, that's my wife banging on the door. Hold on. Maybe the wife will take care of the kids. You right? Yeah, I don't want nobody blocking anybody. I just want to. I just want to know what I've done. Oh no, that's to... that's something that I had to buy because they don't have this medicine. Oh, okay. None of this shit, to guys. Get, to get, to get. We were just telling you, everybody. <laughs> Look, that's what he got. He got. He's got melatonin, guys. 
<laughs> okay, she's about to give. She's about to give it to him now. Uh oh, we about to see. Oh shit! The, the live footage of a domestic dispute. <laughs> nah, so, nah, no, I know. I, I then called. I then called the name out. And I asked why I was getting all that hate and those comments and those comments and my videos, live streams, um, earlier this week, last week. Uh, I don't want nobody. I don't want nobody. Nobody blocking anybody. I just want an explanation. <laughs> what the fuck you doing? I'm crushing pills and shit over here. I'm crushing a clonidine. A clonidine. All right, so he's taking guys. He's taking melatonin. Have you drunk out of this? No. He's taking melatonin and clonidine. Barbiturates work so much better than melatonin. Barbiturates. Oh, man. So, yeah. So, I guess we'll see. Uh... This cat's meowing like crazy, so I don't know. You can figure him out after you're no, done. There's a problem. Can shut up. Huh? I don't know what's the problem. <laughs> We've got 66 people watching, so be uh, cautious of what you say, honey. I'm not worried about the people. Thank you, Mike, Mike W. I know that this isn't going to work. I mean, it's just a simple question. Just come right back out of it. Okay, so what, what, was the, what was it, though? I was just, I was just, I'm just waiting for a response. Oh, so somebody was saying some nasty stuff in your stuff? Yeah, in my in live in in, in 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 my live streams, uh, and some in some, oh, okay. in some comments in my video, uh, okay. I, I called the name. I called the name out. I'm not mad. I'm not upset. No, I'm I not mad. I just want to know. I just want to know what I. If I don't, then it'll. I just want to know what I done to make somebody so mad and and to to get treated like that is all I want to know. These live streams are hot on a hot streak. Yeah, man. Hey, man. Yeah, you get called out on the Magic Tech Review stream. You know what uh, I'm saying? You say some dumb th something stupid or dumb? Uh, Lady Red, no. Not that I know of. Not that I know of. If you're a troll. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, apparently, Lil John's ready to go to sleep. He's taking so clonidine and. Um, Clonidine, which costs $40 for, for, for a month's supply, apparently. And melatonin. Oh, there you go. Jerry, Jerry. <laughs> what? Well, uh, I guess <laughs> I won't. I... Okay. Well, I guess I won't get a response to, to just a very simple question about what that, you know, what I've done. To deserve it. What is it? Augusto? Hmm? This is Augusto says, Hey guys, are you going to live stream tomorrow? I get paid and I want to super chat. You all help support the channel because it's where I come to find a review for a phone. All right. Yeah, I'm going to live stream tomorrow. Uh, yeah, man, drama in the comments, drama section, comments in the drama section. We love it, man. Keep keep engaging with each other. Um, oh man, so have you ever had any sleep troubles there, CB Tech? Yeah. I know you have, dude. I know you have. That's why I asked the question. What do you take for sleep aids or sleep problems? Um, so I have you taken in the nothing past? really. Nothing really. Nothing. I just I just sleep when I can. You don't take alcohol. You take alcohol. Yeah, he don't drink. Tap out King eighty six. What's with that? I love sleepy time tea. Oh, Thank then we you. got some sleepy time tea up in there. Yeah, that's what I was originally supposed to give him, remember? Yeah. 
Thank you, Augusto Serato. Uh, I got your I got your name right. I'm sorry if I didn't. All right. Why does everyone love Lady Red or MTR? Because why not? Oh, damn, bro. Tap Out King was hidden. Dang. Tap put King beat with <laughs> Damn man, can I can I sa can I save the tap out king? Can I save can I save him? Your channel, bro. Cutting out. You're cutting out, man. He's gone. There he, uh, he's oh, back can, now for a second. I can unhide him. I can unhide him for I'm gonna try. I'm gonna. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save one time. Give one time for a save. That's it. I'm just doing my job. Out. Oh, yeah. Hear you, man. Hear you. Yeah. I know. I know. Oh yeah. <laughs> I know. I mean. I mean. You know. That's why. Whenever I called that. Per when I called that person's name out. You know. You know. It wasn't to like call him out or embarrass him or anything like that. It was basically just want, want answers since it was in the live stream. I was just wanting answers, and and honestly, just couldn't couldn't get an answer because I guess they're gone now, or not commenting. I mean, like I said, I got I got no hate not towards anybody. I got no problem towards anybody, you know. Like I say, I just want to know, you know, what what makes people think that I deserve to be treated like that. I take Sarah Quill to help me sleep. So that like, we're getting comments right here. So guys, is Klonopin bad? Is it really bad for y'all or what? What's what's the deal? No, it's just really it's really addictive. Really addictive? Thank yeah. You. Does CV try Texas. being on try being on Klonopins, Xanax. Mm-hmm. And Zola all at one time. So you gotta make sure yeah, like Lady Red says, clumping can be easily abused. Yes, it can. Um, you have to get a pill crusher because that shit just didn't work for me. Uh, Oscar said, for real, I got your back. Me and Tana does tech. Okay. We make you this track. No more. Uh, you don't want no more that. That shit gonna knock you out fast enough. Yeah, you think so? All right. So, yay, little John should be sleepy, sleepy time soon. I loved Cody when I had pneumonia. What the heck? All it is is lean. It's lean. Don't drink while on Klonopin or Xanax. Definitely do not do that. Wait, you're giving Klonopin to him? Yeah, that's what that's what was uh prescribed. It's not Klonopin. Oh, what is it? These are low white. Does that feel look yellow to you? Oh, what is it then? Show me the pill. It's clonidine. It's a blood pressure pill. It's, oh, clonidine. It's just a, because what they what they're doing. Sorry. What they're doing is they're making giving the clonidine to slow him down. Damn, you don't even have the right address at all on there. Whatsoever. That's our old address. Don't I know say everything it. goes to our old okay. address. Everything oh. still attached to our old address. Ian to Taylor, no, not right now. It was pouring down earlier, Everything but it's not raining here now. What? Uh, let's see, Tana. I'm going to invite Tana to tech. I don't know if he wants to get up here or not, but we haven't had him up here in a while. You okay? <laughs> what? Poor kid. He looks like he's drunk. He looks like he's drunk. There you go. Lil John looks like he's drunk. You okay, baby? Come on, going to get sorry. Lady... lady. Lady Red Tarot. Yeah. Or, we should be out within about 30 minutes. You think so? Yep. You never know, man. Maybe he maybe not. He's never had no phone or anything else. Hey John. Hey John. What's up? I'm yes, gonna sir. end this I'm gonna end this call. 
to save my total wireless data, I'm gonna come back on on, on T-Mobile. So uh, I'll be right back. Okay. Because that is a blood pressure pill. Dirty Sprite. Okay, so it's not Clonopin, it's Clonidine. Can you figure out what's wrong with that cat? What is wrong with you? Come in here. <laughs> Come in here. Now we have 75 people watching. What's wrong? You done ate twice today. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Give him some water here. This, this water, water. He's got water. He's got water. He just keep meowing. You want some water? You mad because you ain't been in the bathtub today? <clears throat> That's why I usually put his water in. I just kind of stuff. Mm. Standing up like you're a damn human. Here's some water. All right. <laughs> you hear John, that fucking thing's attacking me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Cat, what is wrong with you, buddy? What you? What you get a hold of something you ain't supposed to get a hold of? Did you get a hold of one of my regular pills? Huh? You're all off balance. It's supposed to balance you, baby. I'm joking. <laughs> Yo, this cat is like, what the heck, man? All right. Wow, I think he got autism too. Right, I think he's got, think he's got autism too. I'm about to give you some damn melatonin. <laughs> She gonna give the cat melatonin? Hell no, I'm just playing. Yeah, no, nah, don't get it. Don't get people. You, you, okay, don't wake back up. Uh, all right, let me let me call him. In. Oh, there it goes. All right, cool. Catnip. No, I don't want that. That cover where the wheel rubber will be running around here wild then. The cat might be going in heat or just wants cat treats. He's fixed. He's fixed. Okay, I'm going to have to go back and get my shots. Yeah. He's adopted the right way and all that. He's got all his shots. And his little tags. And, and his, his little, little tag. chip. And his case, chip. Yeah, there you go. In case he gets lost. Got all the shots. Yes. Okay. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. 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 Yo, what up? What up, MCI CB Tech? What's popping? What's going on? What's going on? Just, just be very cautious. Okay, cool. I'm on. Yeah. They said once that shit kicks in, it's gonna knock him out like right then. You got you got any head you got any headphones or anything like that? You sound kind of kind of like this or echoey. I got you. We good. Oh, there you, okay. Yeah, you sound better now. All right. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, yes, yeah, sir. Just had to mute the damn YouTube shit, but I got you. I'm on deck. Hey, what's right, happening? Cool. What's happening? I'm sorry, I had to throw somebody out, but I'm just doing my damn job. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. No. Nah, no. Nah, nah, he. He's the one. He's the one that was talking. That's saying that the main Juan is the be best or whatever, better live streamer than I am. I want him in here though. He. He gave me a dollar donation earlier though. He trying he trying to come back. He trying to like you know what I'm saying. He trying to regain my trust. So, oh, he gave you a he gave you only a dollar. Okay, that's that is a hundred pennies. Okay, okay. <laughs> the woman that the, the woman that gave me the prescription, she was like, she was like, you're not gonna have a problem. She said my she said my granddaughter has autism and that's what we give her and it works wonders. It works wonder. All right. Well, apparently, apparently the pharmacist said it works wonder. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I don't know. I don't believe it's gonna work wonders, but we'll see what happens. What? That's all doctor recommended and all doctor prescribed, right? Yes. All right. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. Everything is all good. All right. Go go. Mm -hmm. Oh. What are you, Trina? You got any, you got anything for us? Yes, that is organic and picked from the um the the, the yeah. gardens of Lake Titicaca. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, <laughs> that's what that is. That's all goodness. <sighs> <laughs> 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 
He just ran into the wall, This guys. is not cool. Well, John, go sit down, boy. <laughs> he just ran into the wall. Yeah, so he's definitely, he's definitely feeling it. Go sit down, baby. Man, share the holy water. <laughs> yeah. It's not funny, yes, sir, John. Yes, sir. This water will hit you hey. No, he's got to talk about the holy water. Oh, no question. Yo, Shout guys. out to Sean Payton with the Fab Dollar Super Chat. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, um, what's the dude name? Knockout TKO, whatever the boy name is. Um, tap nah, out. Nah, you and who? Tap out. Uh, tap that ass. What, what's the name? <laughs> no, tap out King. Tap out. King oh, tap out King. You done messed up. You, a dollar is not gonna do. You got people that love Magic Check and give them five dollars on the holla. You gotta come up with at least ten. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It is what it is. <laughs> Yeah, man, I called him out. You, you, remember, you remember the the movie Troy, right? You yeah. Watched the movie Troy. Yeah. Where the guy's like Hector, where he's yelling out. I was calling him out on the on the live stream like that <laughs> <laughs> to show himself. That's MTR. You know what I'm saying? They they get the Mario Brothers head all mixed up, like you won't come at them, but you do. You know what I'm saying? You are what you are. Who you are? You savage. Oh yeah. Yes. Sir. Oh yeah, man. My my justice is swift. I don't care. Everybody knows. Mm -hmm. If you don't like it, you get the hell out. Of <laughs> Amen to that. <laughs> oh man. So, what do you think about these new phones, man? These new wonderful phones. Uh, the iPhone X, um, the 10X. Um, you know, I did a video when I was in the Xfinity Mobile Store. I had my hands on it, and everything ran through it. It's yeah. exactly the same as the iPhone. <laughs> so, really, I'm not impressed. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. And the yeah. iPhone 10s, I hate these damn names. They, they suck. The iPhone 10s Max, eh, it's like a year too late, honestly, for me. I, I wasn't impressed with that neither, but I did like the gold color, though. The color was lit. I ain't gonna lie. That gold is all. Oh, there. yes. Oh, so yes. That gold is sweet. Yeah, 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 CB. So if you got an iPhone 7 or 8, yeah, you might want to step up to the, to, to the SX Max, but I wouldn't go for the. 10 ass. I'd rather go for the 10 if you're stepping up from the 8 or 7. Save your cover dollars for the same damn phone. Honestly. Yeah, yeah. Hey, speaking of uh, uh, Sean Payton, he did give me the $5 donation. Thank you. I just want to give you guys a little history. Sean Payton is actually the one that sent me this microphone right here that I use pretty much every night. You know what I'm saying? It is, it is going in and out for some reason uh, as of recently, but he sent me this microphone right here. He sent me another microphone. He sent me like three different microphones. No, it's three. No, it's two different microphones, wires and everything, and cables. And then he also he also donated for Little John for Christmas uh, last year. So it was like I don't know, I, it was a couple hundred dollars, I believe. So do really like really really supported the channel. So if you have not checked out Sean Payton, he does some uh, he does some poetry. Po he reads poetry. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, I've never, I've literally never seen anybody read poetry. But yeah, man, he's got like a dope setup, and you know, he just the man reads poetry, man. That's what's up. That's what's up. Them poetry reading guys, they got a lot of women. You know what I'm saying? So Sean Payton, you're a smooth operating. Mad salute to you, salute my brother. I mean, Sean, Matt, Matt, you take some love like that with the microphone. It sounds lovely and all that. But I know that you poets, you guys are some smooth operators, and y'all got a lot of women. Mad salute, man. Little. John John had a wonderful Christmas. Let me tell you from that. I think it was three hundred dollars. I think it was. I, I can't. I can't say it was last year. But he, yo, I tell you, man, those Christmas, those presents under the, under that tree last year. You know what I'm saying? Just pretty much Sean Payton, and then there was a few more. There's John Miller as well. He donated like three hundred dollars at once. So, yeah, I mean, we throw we throwing around the hat this year as well. <laughs> Same. Uh, oh, Ted. Tana might remember me as Moon. Yeah, his his name used to be Moon. Moon something. Oh, Moon. What's up, Moon? What's Oh, yeah, I remember you, Moon. So you changed your damn name. Moon got around 50 damn names, but that was my guy, man. Moon is a great guy. He always supported me and all that. So, John, MTR, I believe you. Everything what you say, that, that he made your Christmas, your holiday season, all that, because he made my life all that on YouTube, and he was a big part of me staying with YouTube. So, hell yeah. Man, Matt, mad respect for you taking care of MCI on that end. Yes, sir. Okay. I'm about to snap into a slim jam. 
Oh, yeah. yeah. What's your favorite wrestler, Tana and, and CB? Favorite wrestler. Uh, just give me a second. I'll be back in a minute. Yeah, see, right. he, he's in North Carolina, so I'll give it to him first. <laughs> My all-time favorite was Stone Cold Steve Austin. That's a damn good choice. That's a damn good choice. Yes, it is. You know it, man. You know it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My my, my favorite wrestlers are tied up. It's Ric Flair and The Rock. All that swag and all that damn shit talking. I mean, all, all the trash talking. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I got to love it. But also, the one you chose, and he's up there too, Stone Cold. I definitely took it, but it talks some trash. Love it. I might have to mute the microphone here in a second because Little John is definitely feeling that, I think, because he's getting upset. He's fighting now, I think. So, yeah. Uh, I might have to mute the microphone, and you guys might have to take over for a little bit. That'll work. Hey, Jose Perez, was you talking about me? I'm just saying, you know, let it be known. And the silence comes over the stream. <laughs> I love doing yeah, that. I'm trying to get out of this thing here. I can get back into the, back into the live stream. Oh, okay. Or, yeah, there we go. Now I'm back. Okay, you back? Okay, cool, cool. I know, I know UTR had to take care of Lil John real quick. Lady Red told, <laughs> told somebody to clean their phone manually. Okay. Hey, what's going on, Tyler Perry? People, we got the world famous movie director, Oscar nominated, Emmy Award winning Tyler Perry in the building. Yes, indeed. On Magic Tech Review. Yes, indeed. <laughs> great movies like Mac, you know what I'm saying? Diary of a, a Thought. And um, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, how to save a black, I mean, how to save a mad black woman. Yes, Tyler Perry, he's in here, people. All caps. <laughs> Mad salute to Sean Payton. Nah, yeah, Sean Payton is a mod now. MTI just gave a man a hammer. Well earned and well deserved. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, CV, what's the latest phone that you reviewed, bro? Haven't really reviewed, reviewed, reviewed in a while. Uh, I gotta get, I, I gotta get back into the swing of things. Okay, about, got, you, got you. Yeah, I'm listening. Hang on a second. Okay. Well, I pick it up. The last phone that I reviewed was the Stylo 4. I know a lot of people on the screen already got it and everything, but I got it for Xfinity Mobile. But I don't know why LG does this, but it pisses me off. What I mean that what I mean is is that Metro PCS and Boost got 32 gigs of storage on deck. On Xfinity Mobile, 16 gigs. Metro PCS and Boost get fast charging on their phones. Uh, Xfinity not, Mobile? Not, not okay. Boost, Boost Mobile don't have fast charging. Oh, they ain't got fast charging either? Uh, I, I, had, I had the Boost Mobile version. Uh, the Straight Talk version also has only 16 gigabytes of storage as well. So Straight uh, Talk only has 16 gigs, but they have that really nice Moroccan blue back, which, look, which looks really, really nice. Right. Gotcha, gotcha. So LG basically runs everything off variants from, from carriers, huh? So they give Metro PCS the heat. They give everybody else the yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean the straight top version. They give it the same 1.8 Snapdragon 450 as they did the Metro and Cricket. They give it the same, you know, internal storage. Uh, of course, the Cricket version got one more gigabyte of RAM, um, but the straight top got 60 gigabytes of storage with two gigabytes of RAM. So yeah, it's kind of. I mean, LG. LG made a Stylo 4 to make five or six different versions of it for every different carrier. So that's kind of messed up. They ought to make one one they ought to make, they ought to make one model for every carrier. Absolutely. I totally agree with you. Um no no question about it. Okay, um, let me see. Um Jose Perez asked me, uh, what do I think about the E5 Plus? I'm glad you asked that because that's the next phone that I'm about to review on Xfinity Mobile. 
See, I'm sponsored by Xfinity Mobile, so all the phones that I get, I see the EMA phones by Xfinity Mobile slash Verizon and everything. I'm not balling, you know what I'm saying, like CV Tech or Magic Tech. They go ahead and, and do everybody else, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm just a little YouTuber here in the YouTube land just trying to make a couple of pennies rub together. <laughs> That's what I'm still trying to think. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah michael michael thomas yeah the style 04 plus does have fast charging but the but the actual style 04 does not mm -hmm. the style 04 does have fast charge but or the style 04 plus does have fast charge but the actual regular lg style does not had the phone so yeah i kind of know absolutely shout out to uh, mill hustles what's up bro bro you dig you dig there's magic tech. What's going on, bro? You back? Uh, for a second, yeah. Just little John's kind of, he's kind of loopy, I guess, and he's fighting it now. He's getting really, like, really frustrated. So, I'm also right now streaming. Uh, I, I also today, I'm on Better Sim right now, but I brought out the ZTE Blade V8 Pro. So I, I had to bring it out of storage, you know, use it tonight. So that's what I'm on right now. It's the Blade V8 Pro. Uh, so yeah. I don't know why I shared that, but yeah, that's what it is. I'm glad you brought that up, CV. What do you think about that blade? I mean, the VA Pro that you got right now. What do you think about it so far? It's a it's an awesome phone. I've had it, I've had it for a long time. I paid a hundred and twenty nine dollars. I think I, I want to say for it. The phone still runs on six point oh, and, and on Android six, but it runs so good. It runs a six twenty five processor. Three gigabytes of RAM, 13 gigabytes of storage. The cameras are really decent. The screen's full 1080. It's stock Android, and this phone it flies. It has well, the battery the battery is not as good as it was when I got it before because it's, it's been used a lot. Um, but it's a solid phone. It's a very solid phone. I wish they make an. I wish that they make. I'd be glad when they make a, a, a ZTE Blade V9 Pro. That would be like. I would like to see that. Dope, 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 man. Man, oh man, and magic check. What flavor is in the vape tonight? You know, I gotta oh, ask. Oh, it's it's grape actually. I do have to order some more, so um, I don't know. I guess I could, I guess one of these nights I can take you guys through uh, how I order vape juice. You know what I'm saying? I don't want it to seem like an advertisement or whatever. You know what I'm saying? They, they have sent me a poster before and like a free little sample, but they, you know what I'm saying? I actually pay for this stuff, so but yeah. Um, Daddy sixty nine TM says, well, "What is better, Sim? I have mentioned better Sim so many times in my live streams about what better Sim is. Better Sim was a little a little carrier type deal where it was like an invite only. Um, we had to put in your um email account. They would get back to you if they wanted to. They sent you out, you had to pay for your first month. They sent you out a SIM card." It's on T-Mobile. You are you are prioritized over Metro. So all of them. You're actually it's this actual T-Mobile service. You get all you can use all their towers, all their partner coverage, unlimited everything with unlimited hotspot, three G hotspot for thirty eight bucks a month. Can't beat the price, and I, I'm not letting it go. Nice, nice, nice. But you can't. But you can't get better sim anymore. It's gone. Hmm. Hmm. Who, who wants who wants to get taken through the process of getting the swag sauce real quick? I don't know. Me. <laughs> he said me. <laughs> oh, let me put my birthday in here. November. Oh, I'm a screen share. So, let's see here. notifications. No, I do not want notifications. Do y'all let do y'all let websites send you notifications ever or no? Y'all do that. For websites, yeah, I never do. No, I never do. No, nah, that's the devil. Is it? It's bad, right? They be sending yeah. mad stuff, right? Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Mint Mobile, Mint whatever is still out. Better SIM was out for a short time, uh, unfortunately. And I guess whenever they ran out of SIM cards for it, I heard it was going to bring bring something back on Better SIM, a different different something, a different kind of plan. But I have yet to hear anything about. Um, actually, when you pay your bill, you don't even pay through Better Seam. You pay through a whole different, completely different co company. It's really weird how it is, but it still works. So, and I also pay my bill through a prepaid debit card, and I don't keep enough money in there 
to pay the bills. So that way they, they, they won't get a dime more than what they're, what they're supposed to get. Uh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. No, no, Better Sim is not a T-Mobile MBNO. It's actual T-Mobile service. It's just under Better Sim. But it's not an MBNO. So, well, guys, this is, this, is the, this is the actual website that I always go to, swagsauce.com or whatever. And this is the where I actually get my stuff. Uh, I like Zeus juice a lot. It's like my favorite. Uh, but I'm trying to get something different. I'm trying to see what the the vape flavor of the month is. They actually give you a really, really big bottle. 180 mils for 10 bucks for the flavor of the month. Sometimes so it's only, a bad there's flavor. Only one, there's only one mil, so not 180. Oh, my God. There's not 180. He said 180 mils. There's only one mil. One mil up. <laughs> oh, what up, y'all? What's up, Tana? What's up, CB? What's up, John? Hey, What's up, man? Uh, Kenneth Marlin says it's better to use an actual bank account. Not whenever you have um, uh, you know, something like that that you're not really sure about and not really sure how, there's, how everything is. So that's why. I use a prepay debit card to pay certain bills like that because, you know, they could easily take out hundreds of dollars. And what, how are you going to prove it? Oh, my God. Swag sauce juice of the month is Stifler's mom. That sounds delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, hey, you know me, I got to keep it a band. I got to keep it a hundred. <laughs> Uh, yes, I, I, I'm also on Total Wireless as well, but I'm on a third line, so I pay hardly nothing for the third line. I'm just, I'm just answering a few comments, so yeah. Yeah, I hear you. Honey. Oh. I, I'm about to try H2O. The only problem with H2O is they got no unlimited plan. That's okay because they're giving your first month half price plus bonus data depending on your plan. Sweet. So I'm really tempted to try it at least a month. I got I, I got a, a H2O SIM card that I bought um, early, early this year. And basically, they're like track phones version of Cricket Wireless. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely want to try them out. Now, I want, is H2O... I want to try mama. Oh, sorry. <laughs> is H2O still under track phone, or are they different now? Uh, as far as I checked, they're still under track phone. Okay. Let me let me read this real quick. Swag Sauce Stifler's, Stifler's Mom. Stifler's Mom vape juice by Swag Sauce is the flavor of sweet strawberry cheesecake blended with Bavarian cream and delicious vanilla bean ice cream. Or as we like to call it, strawberry shortcake. It's a delicious strawberry shortcake blended that is sweet desert a dessert vape that is perfect for dessert vape juice lovers. On the inhale, Stifler's Mom vape juice delivers a burst of juicy sweet strawberries that will refresh your taste buds while satisfying your sweet tooth while you exhale smooth and sweet cream cheese fillings encrusted with rich and buttery graham crackers provides you the genuine flavor of the best cheesecake flavor you've ever tried. You're going to get stuck on that. And I'm going to get stuck on If decadent strawberry de dessert blends make your mouth water, it's time to experience... I can even... That I can even... Uh, Bait. It's time mom to experience Stifler's Mom by Swag Sauce. The blend of luscious strawberries with rich Bavarian cream, cheesecake, swag sauces, Stifler's Mom is a true dessert, dessert vape, classic treat that you've got to try. So there you go. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. Getting this. Oh, man. That sounds pretty damn epic. Man. All that in a vape juice. Yep. I am getting. How many should I get? Should I get like two? Man, I don't know that promo that that promo they just did. Ten dollars for one hundred eighty mil, one hundred eighty. That's a big. That's a big bottle. I might just get all these. Yeah. They're getting kids addicted to nicotine in other way. What's this? Oh, I tried Stifler's mom. It was bomb. MTR. See, I told you she was delicious. What's going on, Tech? Right? Hell yeah. <laughs> well, anyways. Oh man, uh, let's just get let's get back to tech. I, I'm gonna order this stuff though in just in just that a second. Is, that is tech. <laughs> that is tech. 
how many should I order? You know? mm. It's ten dollars for 180 milliliters. How many can you order? I don't know. Well, four, I guess. Cause it's thirty for thirty. You gotta get thirty and above to get a free shipping. Three Stiflers moms. Okay. It's good. You'll like it. Okay. That's the only thing from Swag Sauce that I can actually. All right. Make. So I'm ordering three. All right. So we can get back to tech, guys. I'm gonna stop sharing. I'm gonna get get to the stream. Close to that. Right. That's right. Also, also, thank y'all, all 64 of y'all, for joining the live stream tonight. Y'all were all awesome. Yes, yes, yes. No hustle. So, oh, he's, he's muted. Go ahead. I also, actually, I returned the Moto G6, and I did buy another phone to unbox. So, yeah, good thing for that. No hustles, man. You've been releasing a lot of videos, bro. What else you got out? Nothing, man. Mm. There hasn't been a lot of. See, the thing about me is, I'll I release news when I when it excites me, you know, or if there's not too many conflicting reports. So that's why I, I honestly think it's been a little slower, but you know. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, I got the inside, I got the inside juice for the Metro and the cricket stuff. Yo, this recession, oh lord, that's what we need, another recession, Jesus. I'm sure it's coming. Oh, what are the specs for the new phone? Anyone, please. Um, so the. Which which new phone for Metro or Cricket? Sorry about that. Oh, what do you think about the uh, the new phone there, Tana? The Samsung uh, J7 Star. The J7 Star. Um, I don't know too much about it. The last phone that I reported on was the A9. You know, what I'm saying the A9 with the four cameras on the back of it. You know what I'm saying? I reported on that one. So the J7 Star, I don't know anything about that just yet. But I'm glad you brought it to my attention. I get to it. Yeah, it's a new one coming to Metro PCS. It's going to be, it's the same one as T-Mobile. I think T-Mobile has it out right now. So. Oh, okay. Gotcha. J7 Star. Where's that coming to? Uh, Metro PCS. Yeah, uh, that phone, source sources. Go ahead. That that phone's already on T-Mobile. T-Mobile already has a J7 Star. They've had it for a while. Um, all all the J7 Star is is the J7 2018 that you see for like like Verizon's Verizon's got the 2018 J7, the refined J7 on Boost Mobile. A lot of these carriers have, have already got the uh, the J7 Star. I mean, they're all the same phone, basically just different just different names. Maybe a few different in specs, colors may be different. Not a whole lot of difference. I'm glad you brought that up, CV, because LG has pissed me off. Uh, I like some of their phones and everything, but like I said with this um, this stylo right here, it's on Xfinity Mobile, and I only got 16 gigs right here, but on certain carriers, like we mentioned earlier, it has different kind of specs and everything. Me, I agree with you, CV. They should keep it the same. Just like Samsung is doing with the J series and the A series, and make it more easier. Imagine if it's spoken like that, man. I'm getting I'm getting tempted, bro. Also, uh, Straight Talk is getting the J7 crown, and yeah. as usual, Straight Talk fashion, theirs is only 16 gigabytes. I mean, if I had to tell anybody right now, a phone to buy on Total Wireless or Straight Talk right now. Yes. And you want to pay 200 or less, don't buy the Stylo 4 unless you just don't care. Unless you want, unless, unless you don't care about, unless you don't care about, fat, you know, uh, storage. Go, or not even the J7 Crown, go with the Moto G6. Amen. Moto G6 is 179. I wanted to keep it, couldn't afford to keep it um, for Total Wireless. 
it is the exact same specs as the unlocked version. It's not watered down. You're getting the same processor, ROM, RAM, cameras, turbocharging. Everything is the exact same. It's 179 at Walmart for on Total Wireless and Straight Talk. You can pay 199 for the Stylo 4 with the same uh, with the same processor, but you get less RAM, you get less storage, um, and it's not stock Android. Um, so I mean, the screen is. A little bit smaller, but I mean the G6 is definitely the way to go. Man, gotta check it out. What you think, Magic Tech? Mm-hmm. What for straight talk or for for total wireless? Just period with, with, with the Moto um, E6. You talking about? No, that, that was the Moto G6. G6. I'm sorry. Oh, I mean, I don't. I think the Super, the E5 Plus, and all that. Those are like the best ones. That they have for Metro and Cricket, you know, Motorola in, in general, man, it's doing it's, it's it, I think they've done replace ZTE like in that field, dude. They just like they ju- they literally they jumped in, like, yeah, man. The they one thing, they- okay. Go ahead. Michael Thomas said, I thought they're discontinuing the J series. It's being discontinued. These new phones coming out have been produced for months. I don't think we're going to get anything past the J7. I think that's it. This is the last J yep. of the I J agree. series. I this, is the last, this is the last year of the J series. Absolutely. Absolutely. And me as a Samsung Knight, yeah, no doubt about it. After the J series or whatever, it's going to be strictly A series and S series and notes. That's about it. It makes total sense. Are, are they bringing the A series to the United States? Yes. Yeah. No question about it. Absolutely. Yeah, but, but then the only problem is, is what's going to happen to the budget line? Because, I mean, the A-Series is still like, for what, $500? And they can't afford to buy an A-Series. That's going to go actually. Go ahead. ahead. The A-Series is also going to have budget phones. Mm, Exactly. The A is the new J. Absolutely. As as a Samsung Knight, you know what I'm saying? You you can find fault in your own, in your own, uh, you know, own country or own whatever you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? So what is the worst Samsung phone that you've ever owned as a Samsung Knight? And you said... You Why you got to bring up old shit? Why you got to bring up old shit? <laughs> and then you just, it just bring a tear to your eye, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You felt like, you know what I'm saying? You felt like doing the sword, you know, into the, like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. The gun- Which was the hardest one you've had to defend, basically? The get, I ain't defended. I told it like it was, and you know it. It was on Metro PC Mess too. Fuck PC yes. Metro PC Mess. It was the Galaxy Own Fab. It was the absolutely worst Samsung uh, I breathed on. That shit was terrible. See, uh, you know it. Oh it yeah. The Own Five was probably what one of the, the the worst Samsung Galaxy phone, other than like the 2010, 2011 Android phones that came out with like Android Donut, uh, but. Yeah, the own five. I mean, that was probably one of the. I never owned it, but I. I mean, but I did not see one good review about that phone. I heard it was the most garbage. Yeah, phone that was one made. of the. Oh, that was God. one of the worst Samsungs. That was one of my. And you know how much it costed to unlock an on five on Petro? Like what? Like a hundred dollars. Get out of here! Yeah, it. it may have oh. changed now, but. If that J7's the right price at Metro, I'll pick it up because I can unlock that. I was going to try to get it through Boost, but my local Boost stores are all sold out of them. Man. Um, I got a question here. Uh, uh, Eden, the, the Alcatel Idol 3 was a great phone. The only problem with the Idol 3 was it was it, it had a flawed it had a flawed design. It, uh, the design was very flawed to where it where it cracked very very easily. That was the that was the only problem with the Idol Three. Idol Three was a great. I had an Idol Three, and it was a fantastic phone, but it had a very flawed design. If you even looked at it the wrong way, you're not able to crack the screen, and that was it. So that's the only problem. It's kind of hard to call a phone trash just because it was designed poorly. Yeah, oh boy. <laughs> I returned my Idol 3 for an S6. I don't blame you there. And it was when the, a few months after the S6 came out. I, I'm telling you, man, I put a post on the Samsung Knights group today. Tana, you saw it. Yeah. I mean, the S5, it's not that great in 2018. S6 is a little better. 
but there's a lot of phones that they're still crapping on that are coming yeah. out this year. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And so. CV has an S7. I want an S7. I love the S7. I mean, you could have a Galaxy S8, Galaxy S9, whatever. I love the Galaxy S7. Ask me why. I can't tell you why. I just there's something about the way it feels in your hand. That really nice glossy black onyx on the. I mean, I, I love that black onyx. It's just a sweet, sweet look on that phone. And I mean, I don't like the curved glass because whenever I picked the phone up on a Galaxy S9 that I had, I always was mistap was mistapping apps and it was doing all kinds of crazy stuff. But the Galaxy S7, I don't know what it is about. I got the Galaxy S7 right here, and I love that phone. Yeah, one of my female friends, she still got her Galaxy S7, and I ain't even talking about the Edge, and it still runs like it's brand new. So I agree with you, CV, no doubt about it. Great device, no question. And Mill, great point. You make absolutely perfect sense. Appreciate Sorry, it. I'm, or, I'm already Stifler's mom, so I'll be. I'll be. <laughs> so while... While John is uh, messing with his stifler, um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, to MTR, to Tana, and CV if you haven't. Yes, yes. Mad salute, mad salute for that meal, hustles. You did. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, and, and and I'm also just just occasionally throwing in my throwing in my PayPal if, if, if anybody wants to uh, support CV Tech, you know. <laughs> Oh, yeah, absolutely, man. Throw that in there. Yes, sir. And if you want to keep my ass off the pole, because I'm tired of stripping people, um, please subscribe to my channel ASAP, because I'm tired of turning stripper poles into bow ties, because I'm a big guy, and that's what happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So I um, have had a Huawei P20 Lite for a couple of days. And this phone is boss. I don't doubt it. But what? But what? You? But what? You love to be able to have the P twenty Pro and Twilight though, man. Oh Jesus, dude! Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, I, I, I'm telling you, if I, if I could get any, I mean, any phone. So I said, hey, take your pick, pick any phone. It would be the Huawei P twenty Pro and Twilight. No, I mean, th there'd be no, no, no thinking about it. That'd be it. I mean, the P20 Pro and the Huawei Mate, I think RS. 10, the one that, the one that, uh, how, that how about Big, the John RS? Has, Big John Tech has the Huawei Mate 10 or something. Yeah. What, what about that main, what about that Mate RS? I'm not too familiar with that one. Mate RS. Like, how about that? Is, what, how about ahead, that sorry. Mate 20? That Mate 20. The oh. one that's the four cameras. <laughs> oh. The Mate RS, oh, that's the that's the one that has the Porsche design. Yeah, that one's boss. Also, uh, I got a question. It says Pittsburgh fans says I still have the uh, LG Rizio two. I've been trying to sell, but no one wants it. I still have the original first generation LG Rizio sealed in a cricket box, never opened. I bought it, and I never ever opened it. Mm -hmm. Well, about the essential phone, I already got that phone, so I don't really care. I got that phone already. That phone's boss. I don't. That phone is. I don't care what anybody says. That the essential phone, man. I have used the crap out of that phone. That phone works one hundred percent. I mean, there's nothing. Yeah, perfect phone. Other than it needs a fingerprint. Other than other than it needs a headphone jack. But other than that, yeah. What do you think about Huawei, Tata? Because you know, you and me are big Samsung connoisseurs. Yeah. I think Huawei was the truth ever since they released the Nexus 6P. So oh, yeah. I always knew that they was going to be a great company, period. You know what I'm saying? And with the May 20 Pro coming out, they, they released the teaser today that got me interested because the teaser and the teaser had a guy playing the piano, then a guy typing, then the guy playing the piano again, and the guy typing. So I'm like, wait a minute, what are they going to do next? You know what I'm saying? They said they always came up with something next, come up with something next, like the three cameras or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So Samsung said, okay, well, we're going to go ahead and do four cameras. So as far as Huawei as a company, 
they're handling their damn business, and I respect them. No question about it. Great question, Mills. Yeah, they're, I'm going to be honest. Like When it comes to creativity in the smartphone world, actually original designs, I have to give them the number one spot because they are risk takers. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like whenever a new Huawei phone comes out, I'm like, man, I never thought about that. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Like the gradient color. I always wanted the gradient color in my phone or whatever. Then they came up with the, with the mid light, the twilight color. That was beautiful. How about hey. that twilight CV? Oh, wait a minute. Y'all want to hear the funniest comment I've seen so far? Okay. From CH Steel, my Metro Style 04 runs circles around that essential phone. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> that is a, that is a, that is a, that is a hilarious Hi, comment. <laughs> now, did you hear that they're going to have three different Galaxy S10s? Actually, four. Four, four. Okay, so yeah. I'm well, the one that. Uh, that really caught my eye. Well, it hasn't come out yet, but caught my attention. They're going to have a light, an S10 wow. light. Yes, yes, yes. For the budget conscious people, of course. Yes, indeed. Why shouldn't they have the same S10 experience for a lesser price? Why not? Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. Very, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, right. <laughs> see, I, I see you've been researching. That's what's up. Yeah, you know, I'll do a little something, something, you know. But yeah, I, now, I mean, I know they say, you know, that the Galaxy S10 Lite is for, but what is it going to cost? Because, I mean, honestly, they say budget, but if it's $700, that's, I'm sorry. She's, that's, that's just not. Hey, man, why you got to bring up old stuff? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is my, this is my opinion. This is my opinion. I think when it comes to the marketing of the S10, they're going to go the Apple route. And what I mean by that is everyone is speculating to death. And then yeah. when they unveil the phones, it's going to be nothing like any, everyone thought. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you, I mean, like, like I said, you can rumor it to death, but until they drop it and get the actual, you see the actual product, it's all speculation and rumor. Yep, exactly, exactly. That's why I think that the, um, the light version ain't going to be as expensive as you think. It's probably going to be less than the iPhone XR, honestly. So you're talking about like $600, $650. And it's going to come with a wireless charge inbox, unlike the 10s. So there's a, there's, a eight, there's a May 20 Pro coming out, and I'm just scared to death that that's going to be really expensive. There's an 8X Max. For a while, way coming out. Now, there's two articles, and I want to get you, all three of y'all's take on this. Tom's guide said that the Huawei Mate 20 Pro may be the best camera phone ever. But BGR.com, both of which are very uh, re re reputable tech sites, said leaked camera scores claim the Pixel 3 and Mate 20 Pro will beat the iPhone 10s. So once again, Huawei's in the conversation, but now move over the pixels coming out. Now, wasn't the first pixel considered the best camera ever when it came out? Mm -hmm. that's, what, that's what it was claiming. Absolutely. Everybody was all over the pixel, the first pixels camera as ever. Absolutely. But of course, now, now since it's older, now they'll say that it's, it was never that, you know, you know how they are. They mean they'll say that you know when the when the first pixel came out, it's the best camera ever to re be released to anybody on the market. But a couple of years later, probably now they're probably saying you know that well, you know, you know how they are. I still is it worth it in twenty eighteen? Yeah. Hey, is the Note Nine still worth it in twenty eighteen? Yep. What about the iPhone Ten S Max? Yep. Sorry, I got to this call. Excuse me. Um. I still want to. I still want a first pixel. Have y'all ever seen the the very blue pixel line? Mm -mm. I don't think it's I have. In, it's in royal blue. Yeah, it's, it's like, like the Nexus like Six, dude. It's like blue and a splash of purple. Which they, what you're saying? I have to take. I'm sorry. 
I want the Nexus 6 for some reason. The big old Nexus 6 one with the Motorola thing on the back. That's what I want. I don't know why. It, I, was, I was, we were talking the other day. If you find a brand new Huawei 6P, Nexus 6P, I, I found one on eBay the other day. Brand new. It said brand new in the box. $800 or $900. It was, it was in Australia. And, and I'm thinking. Every penny. Yeah. And I was like, dude. That's a lot of freaking money for a phone that's been out that long. They hold their value. They hold their value. That's the best kind of phone to buy. Mm -hmm. And the camera on that phone was phenomenal. I had a client of mine come in and whatever. He took a couple of pictures and everything of the work. Absolutely phenomenal. Great camera on that phone and everything. Hey, have you have you given anybody the notch cut yet? Ten. Uh, Oh uh, fuck no! Um, <laughs> no, no, no. Has anybody, has anybody, anybody ever say, "Hey man, what do you, what do you want today?" Be like, hey, you, you know about that that new 10s? You'd be like, <laughs> "I got you, fam." Or say no more. <laughs> no, thank God, no, no, no. <laughs> but some people, got that, some people got that um that that notch cut due to nature and everything and aging. But no, no. <laughs> I don't mess with that. Oh, what if man. Tesla released a phone? That would be probably ouch. I probably would be around three grand, wouldn't you say? That'd probably be a phone that's self-charged. I agree. Solar powered, everything mm -hmm. and everything. Period. That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. Even blast. Uh no, total tech is not here tonight. It was crazy because it was even it was even blast total tech, um, Flossy Carter was in here as well, uh, the real Flossy Carter, and then a fake mobile, uh, Mister Mobile was in here. They was all going at each other. That's crazy. crazy. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the, and then, and then a I fake mean, Flossy Carter showed up after yeah, the real yeah. one. Left. Yeah, I mean, the, the chat was more interesting than the than the last stream. <laughs> it was crazy. No, nah, like we had JG Tech blog up in here for the first time, and then it's like Flossy stole the show. He had us, he had me rolling. When was this? I missed it. Uh, this is about three, maybe three or four streams ago. He was, I guess, he was stream hopping. Mm, he was in here for a good minute, though. Yeah, that that was one of the nights we had like what eighty or ninety people in here watching, a hundred people in here watching, and I mean it was just going, it was just it was, it was just wild. It was a wild live stream. Oh my god! Um, hmm. So Xfinity, dude, do you think they're going to be the the hottest new thing, man, on the market, or are they going to just take a chunk out or what? Meal hustles. Yes, they are. Yep, and I'm not just saying that because they sponsor me and all that, but yeah, as far as the way they're doing business and the way they're moving right now, it's pretty damn cool. I can't lie. Okay. You know, Xfinity... Um, Visible's not going to take over? No. Nah. Who? Visible. <laughs> Visible. <laughs> I don't see what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, because it's not visible, right? Uh, you a mess. <laughs> I think Xfinity. Once the word gets out further, they're going to be a. They're definitely going to be a contender, especially to the prepaids. Yes, yes. For that price and price point and the quality of phones they get, no question. LG just need to get their stuff together, get the 32, 32 gigs and a fast charge and over there on their phone to their phones, and it's a wrap. Because that's all I I see. And then Xfinity Mobile Society is people asking about LG phones, the budget devices. Being like Metro PCS and everything, but that's just a minor thing. But yeah, I agree with you, Mill. They're gonna they're up there and they're gonna fly. Oh yeah. So uh, my the 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 store that I work at, the the one that I vend, so to say, sells about four hundred and fifty straight talk phones a month. Versus and then you know, family mobiles number two, total wireless number three, and so on. How is that not competition to a Metro PCS store? 
Like somebody, I was talking to a Metro employee today, and he's like, oh, Metro's number one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know? Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. Time out. Lambo Ferrari says, Flossy too busy selling drugs. That brother ain't got to sell drugs. Man, is like, just understand that. Flossy is my guy. You know what I'm saying? He's, he was one of the first Samsung Knights ever in, the, in, the, in Samsung Knight history, so I don't even say that. The dude got damn near a million subscribers and stuff. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Chill out. Lambo but, Ferrari MTR is better because he seems approachable. Flossie is super approachable too. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. John bro. met him. Yeah, yeah, I met him in person, dude. He, yeah, we spoke for like half an hour to an hour, man, just chilling. You know, uh, other people were like too busy. They're just like, you know, what I'm saying they're like all like ooh ah and everything in the moment. You know, when I went up to go the ZT event, absolutely. Flossie was the only one in the corner just talking to me, like, "Hey, bro, what's up?" You know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everybody else was like. Oh, you must be here to, you know, take a picture with me or something, or you know, like, no. Nah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And for you to say that, that's slightly racist. I'm just being real. It is what it is. You talk a black man that's doing his thing, selling drugs. Come on now, it's 2018. We make money legit now. Grow up. All right, MCL. Yeah, well, Lambo be saying that. He be saying stuff to trigger. But yeah, Lambo, come on, man. Don't say, don't say that. Man. That's right. He found a right. He <laughs> found the right one today. That's a little. That's a little over the line, bro. That's a little over the line. I will. I will roast your ass and kick you out. <laughs> that's what I do. C H P O. Yeah, yeah. Floss is awesome. I, I watched. The, I watched the majority of his videos. I mean, the dude can do an unboxing. I'm telling you, <laughs> I love his unboxings, man. Phones. I mean, I, I've been following him for a long time. <clears throat> I, I think he's solid. But I got a question for you, uh, Tana. What's up, bro? Um, um, do you uh, do you think Xfinity Mobile will ever branch out instead of having to have Xfinity be able to, you know, you, you, you think, do you think that this, I mean, I mean, you think you think you actually be able to buy online? Because I heard that if you go into a store, you can actually get service without having to have Xfinity Mobile or Xfinity Internet. But you think they'll ever break that to where you'll 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 be able to order online and get a service that way without having to have the internet provider? Great question. And yes, well, I talked to the corporate, um, actually a, a month ago, they got something that they're working on to where people are going to pay $10 more than what the people who got Xfinity mobile cable service or internet and whatever paying right now. So yeah, they, they're working on that right now. So by the end of the year, November, December, that's on deck. So anybody going to be able to have Xfinity mobile? Yes, sir. Got you. Gotcha, gotcha. That's, what, that's what's up. And, and how much is it right now um, for unlimited? I mean, if, for a customer. For a customer, forty five dollars a month, unlimited everything. And that's Verizon. Yes, exactly. Man, you can't beat that. You can't beat that. I mean, even fifty five bucks a month. I mean, and is you know, if, if, you know, if you're a non Xfinity, you know, internet, you know, that's still not bad. Fifty five bucks a month for unlimited on Verizon network. That's not bad at all. No, not at all. No question. No drop calls, none of that. Apple is for dude with the sunglasses looks like a broke NFL coach. Who are you referring to? <laughs> <laughs> He's talking. He's talking to me. He's talking to me. I got. I got the headset on. You know, like like an NFL coach and got the sunglasses on. Yeah, I mean, kind of yeah he kind of does. He kind of. It's not. It's not that bad. It's I don't sorry. care. I mean. <laughs> Hey, NFL coaches are to be respected, man. They're just some good, good dudes, man. So. Now, Tana, I gotta ask you, bro. You being sponsored by Xfinity and all, yeah. Spectrum, Spectrum. I was reviewing their plans a couple weeks ago, and they look a lot like Xfinity. Well, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Well, yeah, that's just business. You know what I'm saying. It's like in business, what you want to do is role model yourself after who's winning. So why not? You know what I'm saying? Spectrum used to be in Chicago. I'm not going to lie. This is not a joke. Like 25 or 30 years ago, we had Spectrum up here. But then we switched to Comcast. Comcast was, be, be, began to become Xfinity. So, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. It's just like YouTubers and whatever. It's like, you want to go ahead and research who's winning. Why not? <laughs> yeah. The uh, Yeah, and they also, they also use the Verizon Towers as well. So, I mean, it's good. Because what's going to make it, competition is always good, absolutely. Especially when it's on a level playing field, you know. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You make perfect sense to me. My guy. CV, what are you eating? <laughs> Man, I had it muted. Can you hear me eating? No, yes. but I see you. I can hear you. <laughs> I'm eating. I'm eating bugles, man. I haven't ate nothing all day, so gotta eat, gotta gotta snack a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm no, saying we want to real know. flossy. It's not the real flossy Carter in the chat. But um, <laughs> you're a Tar Heels fan too, me. Oh yeah, I'm a big Tar Heels fan. You Tar Heels fan, of course. Go Tar Heels. Y'all gave us Michael Jordan. That's why I will always be a Tar Heels fan. And you gave us Boom, Sam yeah. Perkins. Look, not, not just Sam Perkins. You also gave us Vince Carter. Thank you very much. You know, hey, UNC Tar Heels go. Speaking of Michael Jordan, uh, have you checked out 2K19? Haven't did that yet. Haven't did it. I'm, you check it out? Well, I haven't, but everyone won't stop talking about it, so I'm going to have to. Yeah, yeah, you know. Most definitely. <laughs> That's what's up. What's up, TJ? What's happening, bro? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, but shit, I got to get my hands on it because, you know, me and the fellas, we can go ahead and do a live stream of us playing against each other with the 2K19. Talking about, I, I know you mentioned, mentioned a Spectrum earlier. You can't also get Spectrum unless you got your uh, Spectrum Internet. Nope. Well, you can. But if you don't have Spectrum Internet, it'll cost you twenty dollars more. Well, actually, I went on Spectrum Mobile the other day, and um, it, it, and whenever I, I went, I, lo I looked at the phone. I want to get to the, to the checkout process and see what happened. And it said, it said, it said, you must be a Spectrum subscriber, uh, internet, internet, internet provider subscriber to get service. It said you must have. It said, yeah. do you have it? And, and you're right. You're right. I, I misconstrued that. Let me take that back. Actually, if you cancel your Spectrum service, your bill goes up twenty dollars, and I think per line. Yeah. So, I mean, the Spectrum plans don't sound like I said. Like I said, they sound about 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 on par with Xfinity. Oh God, no nine is boss. What's up? Hey, Richard Yarrell. What's up, bro? Samsung Night Stand Up. You did. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I, I, I think uh, I feel like I feel like total Seven. tech jump in here for some reason. I swear. There is a hey, there's MTR doing what the fuck he does. <laughs> or I feel like he's watching something, man. Boy, you a mess. No, it's not how, yes. This is nope, not his day. boss. Hey, what's up with the iPhone 10s and the damn Wi-Fi? Um, oh, I love the video yeah. that you did earlier, MTR. I really do. Elaborate. Oh, with the with the pizza? Was it? Was it? No, I wasn't eating pizza. <laughs> did y'all see, see the Hawaiian pizza though? Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> everybody didn't like it. Everybody was saying it was bad. What? Oh man. <laughs> Oh man. Okay, so so yeah, the iPhone SX or er, oh my god. I know. I know. I know. Yeah, whatever. Those those new iPhones. Yeah, supposedly, man, their LTE antenna and their uh, Wi-Fi antenna is uh is bad, man. Like they don't know if it's a firmware issue, they don't know if it's a software issue, they don't know if it's the actual antenna itself. If it's the antenna the so itself, man, then <laughs> that's bad, dude. That's gonna be really bad. They're gonna have to do a recall. You know, yeah. and I was I was telling people, man, you know, sometimes you, you might not, I know you guys want the newest products, but sometimes it's good to just wait a month or two or three till the bugs get worked out and then buy a product. You know what I'm saying? Because they, it's like they field test because I mean, they can only do so much testing within that trial period, you know, because they'd be pumping out these phones constantly, you know, and you can only do so much testing within the labs. So now maybe that people have it in their hands for real, and they're putting all these big OtterBox cases on it and all these, you know, uh, what's the, what are those, you know, those things on the back? What are those yeah. things called? Yeah. Like people pop sockets and spinners and this and that and the third, and they're putting them in the pockets. Maybe people at the factory, they, you know what I'm saying? It's a Chinese factory, man. Them dudes barely have enough to eat, let alone put a case on it. You know what I'm saying? Them guys, man, nah. they're pennies, man. That's sad. 
another issue. No, and then they also have that new production for the Apple Watch 4. So they're just working them to the bone. But another thing I saw about the iPhones is that when people take selfies for some reason, there's like, you know, there's like a filter to smooth your skin out a little bit. It, it makes it look like you have a pound of mascara on or something. It's just, <laughs> it's a really bad glitch. Hey, 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 but, hey, Bills, great point. But check this out. They say the same thing about what phone? This one here. The S9 Plus. The S9. They say the same thing. The beauty mode is blah, blah, blah. It is what it is, but it still wins. And honestly, some people uh, take a selfie and still put a damn filter over their skin just to make, <laughs> make themselves look a certain way. So what I mean, they turn, off, turn off the damn oh, beauty oh, mode and put some makeup on. What the hell? No, <laughs> dude, that, that's right, the problem. Right. That's the problem. The new iPhones don't have an option to turn it off. It's automatic. It's a glitch. Oh, yeah. that's terrible. Oh, that's <laughs> terrible. God, Jesus. Yeah. Cloud oh, my on. goodness. Note nine boss. Look what Note nine his boss said. Apple is the. Oh my God! <laughs> Scroll up, <laughs> Lord. <laughs> oh my God! Oh, <laughs> oh man! Oh man! <laughs> Android users wear pink shirts. What's wrong with pink shirts? Cameron made pink shirts cool. Dipset, dipset. There it is. What is that phone, the the Vivo Next, the one that has like that sliding camera? What do y'all think about that? Oh, the the blue phone, the 007 phone, the 007 phone. It's made by Blue, right? The Blue Vivo, right? No, no, the the company's called Vivo. Oh, and the name of the phone is the Next S. Oh, the one with the camera that pops out at the top. Yeah, I mean, you really think the camera camera popping out of the top like that's really gonna last the whole life of a phone? As, as See, that that that's the thing. That's what's uh, what kind of worries me. That and the Oppo Find X because they're both awesome looking phones. But you know what what's gonna happen to that? for that thing? We gonna have a cutout for the little camera that popped? Like, come on, that's a little zipper, a, a little, little zipper, zipper. <laughs> yeah. And then, I mean, you you eat a bag of Doritos, bro. That phone's done, man. You get a Dorito in there, <laughs> or you put a Lego on that thing, man. Forget it, man. That's like, like I don't know. Nah. <laughs> so, so hey, CB, can you hear me, bro? Uh oh. Ooh, dang. No, I thought North Carolina had some good coverage. Oh, he said he'd be back in a second. I see him. Oh, no, nah, North, North Carolina. Do you, see, you didn't see that comment, bro? Which one, G? The gorilla guy. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> oh, <my> damn. <laughs> also, yeah. <laughs> Android users eat Cheetos with chopsticks. Jesus. Who the fuck said that? I don't know. We got a lot of people, man. We got a lot of new people up in here, apparently. Hey, I will block motherfuckers, but it's kind of entertaining. No, nah, yeah, no, no. Leave, 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 leave. <laughs> as long as it ain't no racist shit, it's cool, man. As long as it ain't no racist shit, we good. Mill yeah, Hustle, good. change hangout pick. Looks looks creepy with glossy lips, bruh. And you know what? Until the females start complaining, the picture stays. <laughs> Absolutely, because the selfie queens are the kings of selfies. It is what it is. Women take selfies every damn 30 seconds. Absolutely. Keep the Cheetos away from the white shoes. Hey, oh Jose Perez says these comments are lit. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up, Big House Production? What's up, my dude? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh oh, big house productions. What's up, big house? Why you gonna say uh oh? I don't know, man. I That's don't know. Big house productions. Is he pretty good? Is he pretty cool, man? Yeah, he all right with me. That's my guy. Oh, uh, she got. Uh, but yeah, that's why I said uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. What's up, James Tunes? 
Oh yeah. Whenever I share one of them deals, uh, Big House is like, "Oh, I'm on it. I'm on it." <laughs> I probably made Big House buy ten phones. <laughs> See, there we are. Look, Mr. Mobile's in here. That's how, that's how it happened last time. Oh, Mr. Mobile started go. typing in, and here then we go. Oh, that's the real. And then, the real, and, then the, and then the real Flossy came in. So you'll know because I, I made him a moderator if he comes in here. Right. Okay. That is Mr. Mobile. He got the picture and everything. No, it ain't. It, look at his sub count, though. It ain't, you got to look at the sub count, bro. <laughs> Pops and yellow. That's a fake Mr. Mobile. Yeah, I, no, I'm about to say, I met the real Mr. Mobile. Dang it. Jake Adams, uh, Andrew, damn, these things are flying, man. Yeah, that's a big house. That, that's a big house. For real, for real. That's my guy. Okay. I have two chat. I mean, I don't doubt it. I, don't, I wouldn't doubt, you know, I wouldn't, I mean, Flossie has got a, it's the flake, it's a fake Flossie, but he probably hit, he might have, I don't know, man. All I know is every time I seen him, I seen the real one. So I don't know. Uh, oh shit! <laughs> hey, somebody said you drinking a MTI? You drinking a five liter of soda on the screen? He's done. <laughs> Gorilla. <laughs> That's funny, but hey, you might. It, it, is, it is. It is. It is. I'm drinking this. I'm drinking a two liter. Yeah, you're right. You got me. <laughs> shit, I, I was drinking a three liter the other day. The one. Oh That's God, funny. John Lesnar's up in this bitch now. Right, that's right. Oh, yeah. you're not getting SUI streaming under the influence on damn YouTube, right? I was drinking a three liter the other day. Uh, that damn Shasta Cola from the Dollar Tree. I keep it real, man. What? Where the fuck did you find a Shasta? At the Dollar Tree. <laughs> oh, a dollar, a whole Shasta Cola. But. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Bills, you found a damn Shasta, man. <laughs> that's, hey. The, that's the, 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 uh, the troll soda. Shit, I got some, I got some everything in here. I got some, I got some of this Yahoo. Hey, that you who used to be I. There you go, Yahoo, yeah. Yeah, that you used to be I. I'm going to be, I've been getting, I've been smoking a couple of uh, blunt or whatever. Yeah, that motherfucker used to be it's a little bit of pepsi you said it ain't working damn little john's still in the sleep guys send prayers so little john can go to sleep oh sorry mm. Mm. tell him nikki <laughs> that john is a fake account John Ledger says, if you're on cricket or boost, you're doing it wrong. Put the kids Just like you said on that yeah, It ain't mine. It ain't mine. Nah, it's, that's little John's you. I ain't gonna drink his you. Pocket now is nothing without me. You're right. Pocket now is going downhill, bro. It is? Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Bowman, that dude was. Where's well, truth? Oh. Right, right. Is a Jaime, Jaime Rivera on pocket now? Or? Yeah, he's still there. He's still there. Yeah. yeah. He's they, real fast. They used to bounce. They used to bounce off each other. Like Jaime Rivera used to do the daily thing or whatever, and then you know, Mr. Mobile, you know, well, it was Michael Fisher. That's his name. But gotcha. Yeah, I know you're talking about. John uh -oh. Ledger smoked a tana. Uh oh. Oh my God. Hey John Legend, oh, hey, hey, look here. Purple and pink don't go with my, whatever the fuck I gotta wear. So I gotta go ahead with the blue Xfinity Mobile. Hey, no offense. It is what it is. <laughs> Big John, man. Big John is here. Hey. My brother from another mother. Big John take reviews. What's going on, Big John? MTR, you, you got told by your wife. Yeah, man. It's it's a, it's alright to get told by your wife every every now and again. Yeah. 
glossy Carter. Oh my God. <laughs> I've seen one person stream where they said he was having flossy on the stream and shit, but they had another brown skinned guy with some sunglasses and his hat turned backwards. I said, yeah, that was frothy Carter. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Fr frothy Carter? Oh. You said uh, you said you said Frotty Carter, Frothy. <laughs> <laughs> I said that ain't floss. That's Frothy. Carter. Yeah, yesterday Verizon was having a, a outage. Yes, they were. Is it still today too or no? I wasn't ever affected by the outage yesterday. John Ledger says I was. Speaking, I thought of naming the rebranding T Metro, but that's for schmazes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do you guys think about the the new uh, Metro by T-Mobile brand? To me, I think it's pretty cool. It, it don't make a difference, honestly, to me. It's the one through my phones. I mean, I don't really like T-Mobile anyway, to be honest with y'all. So, and everybody already knew that Metro was through T-Mobile. So I don't really think it's making that big of a splash to me. I like their plans, though, that they got. I like what they did. But, uh, you know, I think Cricket should should rebrand or Cricket should say, you know, by AT&T. They never, ever mentioned that they're by AT&T, which I think hurts them a lot. And they tell us not to tell them that they're by AT&T. Right. When I used to work for them. Let me ask you all something hypothetically. What would happen if one day, all of a sudden, with the same pricing T-Mobile and Metro have now, they suddenly get the same coverage as Verizon? Then it's not going to be the same pricing. That's that's what. That, that's like the thing, man. It's like you can't you can't have the best pricing, the best coverage, and everything. But if that happened, though, how long? That would pretty much flip the industry upside down. Correct. Everyone, almost everyone, would go to T-Mobile. John Ledger says, "CV Tech, you're mean to me. That's why I don't come on your streams. You hate T-Mobile. I'm sad." <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I got. I got. I got to respond to that, even though. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> I have really no problem with T-Mobile. I'm using a T-Mobile actually right now. I ain't got no problem with them. My problem with T-Mobile is once you get out of the city by about about a mile and a half. You go from full service and great speeds to basically no service and no speeds. Oh, cover roll America, and, and we'll and we'll talk. But it Ooh. says that they say 99 percent of Americans covered. <laughs> auto, I, I, I like to bottom, know. Ball frying print. It says based on talking text only. And and that's not even talking text. I mean, my like I said, my area shows. That you know that I'm in a fair a fair coverage area and and I got to drive two miles to even get to even get one bar of service on T-Mobile and uh, so yeah uh, uh, cover I mean yeah maybe ninety nine percent of Los Angeles maybe they might cover but but as far as the whole nation nah nah, nah, nah. he responded I, by CV I mean, Tech move to the city problem solved I uh, can't do that. I, I would I would never ever move for a carrier. <laughs> Says you're doing it wrong. I'll stick with uh I'll stick with I'll stick with Total Wireless for my royal coverage and uh T Mobile for my live streams in the city when I come out here. That's why I'm out in my car. I, that's why I'm out here in the middle of town because even at my house, Total Verizon don't get out very good. AT and T don't get out very good, so I'm pretty much stuck to have to come out here, and uh, my Wi Fi's crap. So I'm pretty much stuck to have to come out here, uh, sit in my car every time I want to live stream in the middle of town to even get a decent live stream. Okay, John Ledger says your house is in the wrong location. It's your fault, CV. <laughs> <laughs> Moving for T Mobile. Now that's genius. <laughs> Oh, yeah, geez. never you know, He loves saying that now. He loves to say, now that's genius. Moving for T Mobile, now that's genius. Moving for T Mobile, that's just nonsense. I mean, could I mean could you really imagine somebody moving because they couldn't get their carrier to work? I mean, really? I'd be mean, like, just I just nah. 
John Ledger says Tana does T Mobile tech. <laughs> Hilarious. I had T Mobile before. Great service, but for some reason it's kind of spotty in the Midwest. But in the out east, T Mobile is like God out there because the coverage is everywhere. But they need to work on the Midwest coverage a little bit more. Besides that, I have no complaints. But Xfinity Mobile for now. Yes, sir. I love Xfinity Mobile. This guy, John Ledger, is hilarious. MTR is Magic T Mobile Review. <laughs> <laughs> There's no ZTE phones. Angel Pickles. What's going to happen to Boost Mobile? From what I'm hearing, Boost Mobile is still going to be around. I'm not yeah. sure what they're going to do with them. I heard they're still going to be around. Yes. So it's going to be a good thing. It'll be a really good thing. Yes, yes. And I was about to report that in a day or so. Um, Boost is going to definitely be around or whatever because it's Sprint or whatever, and they merge it with T-Mobile. So with the Metro by T-Mobile and the Sprint or whatever, it's two dead Two damn near different things going on and everything, but so Boost is not going to be cut out of nothing. So all you Boost people ain't got nothing to worry about, not at all. Yep, 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 yep. Boost been around for a long time. Yes. I've been a I, I've been a fan of Boost Mobile since I, I I first started Boost Mobile in 2005 uh, with their on their IDN network with, with Nextel uh, with their chirp phone. So I've been I, I've been with them on and off for what 13 years. So yeah. 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 Mill hustles. How about Metro Hustles? Come on, man. Jesus. <laughs> and Boost Mobile should be known as Booty Mobile. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Samuel Carroll says, give me them toes, boy. Oh yeah. damn. Huh? Are you talking to Tana? What? I think so. I don't know. Uh, let me we got some toes. We got some toes to finish uh, guys. Bro, I don't flow that way. I'm a whole gangster and a half, dude. Don't not nah. chill out. All right, next. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Seriously. It's like next. Shout out to James Hearns. Yes, this stream is crazy, G. <laughs> Soda Red HTC U11. Oh, I love that color on that U11. Yeah. What do you think about um, the, uh, what's it, the LG V40 FenQ Think phone? The leak. I don't know. I mean, V10 I like, was. Good. I like flagship LGs. I mean, the I V10 get... was. I mean, the V10 was good. V20 was good. The V30 was good, but the V30 they, they took back some um, features. The V40, I don't know. Hmm. Absolutely, I agree. The V20 was really good. Honestly, it was totally original and everything. The V30 looked like a S8 Plus. Honestly. But this V40 looks like their own thing, so I got to get yeah, it I, before I judge. Yeah, I, I got the V20, and that thing is built like a tank. I mean, it really, I mean, it, it has that military spec. It has IP, uh, strong IP rating with a removable back, which is really bad unheard of. And, I mean, I, I mean, the cameras on that thing are phenomenal. The, the whole phone is just, is just a great phone. Um, no, Kenneth, I would not be going live tonight individually. Hey, CV is a hustler. Hey, Mills, I know you know. I know your last name is Hustles, but CV will stream on your ass at two thirty a.m. and and I will be there watching. You know what's funny? <laughs> what's up? <laughs> Any time that y'all have gone live, all three of y'all, and y'all say the word hustle, I'm like, did someone say hustles? And I just pop up out of nowhere. <laughs> it's calling me. It's calling me. Uh, Big, Big House Productions asks, what is everyone's primary device right now? Oh. I would say my primary device is the essential phone. Note 9. Um, Galaxy S9 Plus right here on deck. With all respect. 
Lambo Ferrari says the LG G5 was underappreciated. You are absolutely right. I owned a G5 for a little while, but the G6 blows it completely out of the water. Uh, and Philly you know Chico. why? Because the G6 borrows a whole lot from the S8 and Samsung. Really, right. uh, I, I missed it. My 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 phone is really acting up. I, I couldn't read a comment. My bad. The ZT Z Max original. That's my primary phone right now. There he is a ZTE Knight. That guy right, right. there is ZTE through and through. Magic take it. Been ZTE since our first metal. Since the Grand X Max X. What you know? You, you know the phone, John. Yeah, yeah. One of those. One of those X Max. Whatever. Yeah. He loves ETE. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Philly Tech Reviews. What's up? This is... I, I, I'm i not sure who you are. I'm not sure who you are. I took you out, guy. What's up? What's going on? Love Tech 47. Hey. Where's the honor? Uh, yeah, the, the honor I would ca I would carry it more and use it more live streaming stuff like that, whatever. But for some reason, that phone, even with the LED light on, even with the LED light shining, it just looks really bad. I don't know why. I've tried it; it just don't work right. The phone takes very good, does very good in the daytime, but nighttime, I don't know what it's about. It just nah. What up? I take you out, guy. Yo, Kenneth Martin says he's about to order S9 Plus finally. After mentioning it for several months, it will replace his S7 Edge as his daily driver. Dude, you're in for a treat. I'm just letting you know. I'm just letting you know. I upgraded from an S8 Plus to an S9 Plus. A lot of Chuck reviewers said, don't get it. If you got an S8 Plus, don't get it. Bullshit. You're going to love it. Enjoy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Congrats. Philly Tech Reviews. I've never seen Philly Tech Reviews. Must be something new. ZTE are cheaply made phones. Evidently, you've never had a ZTE Blade B8 Pro or an Axon 7 or Axon 7 Mini. So I'm going to look at a few of these channels. All right, you got six subscribers. Put a PSA out. Okay. Okay, I see you, man. Congrats, give, give, me, give me a subscribe. Give me, give you a subscribe, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, that old Kodak phone. I don't want to carry it around very much. It's hard How's to put the camera. Uh, the cameras are pretty good. I mean, the only problem with it was when you <laughs> a, a phone dedicated to mm -hmm. camera performance does really good. Does really, there's really good pictures. It does. The record in the front camera is limited to 480p. I'm like seriously, 480p to one out 720. So it's uh, it's only 480p in the front camera, but the phone itself runs the X25 or X20, X25 processor. That sucker flies, and the cameras are really good. But the buttons on one side are so close together, it's hard to get it in a uh, windshield mount or a tripod because the buttons are like all lined up on one side together, and it's really hard to it's hard to carry it around. I was gonna bring it tonight, actually, um, but I was like, "This my windshield mount is wide on you know, to, to keep the phone secure." And it's really hard because to get it in here where it'll show me very, very good without being all out of whack. There's just no room for just no room, so so I don't carry it. But it's a good phone. Cool, Jake Jake Lee Adams asks, "What carry?" What carry do y'all use? I'll let you guys go first. Uh, I use Total Wireless, Verizon, and uh, Total Wireless slash Verizon, however you want to call it, Total Wireless, and T-Mobile. Let me see here. Which, by the same, man, which, day, which day of the week is it? Uh, you know what I'm saying? I got all these SIM cards. I don't know. Yes, I got a SIM card for every day of the week. That looks like me now, man. <laughs> Total, simple, net 10, track phone, H2O, mint, SIM. I don't know, man. Y'all pick. Y'all pick. I got all the SIM cards, man. Right. Yeah. 
Yeah. And me, myself, Xfinity Mobile, it is what it is. I'm not balling like the rest of these guys right here. I'm balling on the budget. It is what it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I mean, on the, I'm on AT&T. I mean, the reason why I'm on two, two different carriers is because in my house, Verizon's the only one that gets voice coverage and maintains a good voice coverage and has some fairly decent LTE. And... Um, yeah, I pay hardly nothing for that because I'm I'm a, I'm sharing the third like three lines with somebody, um. So my my third line is hardly nothing at all. And then I got better SIM, which is thirty eight bucks a month for unlimited everything. So I I pay less than fifty dollars a month, um, for both for both carriers. So. Got quiet. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> got you. you ain't get real quiet, right? <laughs> man, oh man. Okay, Kenneth Marla says upgrading from his S7 Edge to the S9 Plus is a huge upgrade for him. He skipped the S8 Plus. Wise decision, sir. Wise decision. Like I said before. They had a lot of videos comp comparing the S8 Plus to the S9 Plus, and a lot of so-called YouTubers lied and said it wasn't a big difference. And I'm letting you know personally, I had the S8 Plus and jumped to the S9 Plus. It's a huge damn difference, especially when it comes to the damn RAM and the damn camera. You're going to love it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Congratulations. Now, I, I have to get the Samsung S9 that. I mean, performance-wise, I really don't see any difference in performance between the Essential Phone and the S9. Uh -huh. It's a camera. But the camera is where I see the biggest difference. The camera yeah. is awesome on the S9. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with you because the optimization on the Essential Phone with the A45 chip, as far as it flows, yeah, that shit is fast. But, yeah, the, ca the camera is most definitely the biggest thing. But that's what Samsung was promoting was the camera reinvented, right? CV Tech. Mm -hmm. the camera, yeah, the camera reinvented, and they re, they reinvented that boy to a T, especially with the dual camera system. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, I, I didn't have the nine plus. I, I just had regular nine, but that, but even that, that regular nine was, man. The cameras. I mean, yeah, I like yes. them cameras, yes. and the audio and and the audio quality, the sound yeah. quality was really good. Yes, I take you out, guy. I agree. You know what I'm saying? The speakers, the the, the, the stereo with Dolby Atmos, ah, heaven. No oh, question yeah. about it. Town. Look at these, man. I got, oh, the, I got the, Yeah, man. These are the ones that have the actual, they actually have bone conduction technology on either, on either lens or either side. Nice. Nice. So, but I, I just don't like the way, I don't, I don't like the proprietary uh, charging part right here. But you can literally, it has a microphone right here on this side and then it, you can listen to tunes pretty much all day. It's mm -hmm. waterproof and everything. But the, the sun, the, like the glasses on these things, they're not like polarized right. So they make everything. You know how you get those sunglasses that make everything like look really strange, really like a rainbow? Yeah. Like almost under display. Mm -hmm. That's the, They messed that up. That's the only, like they, and then they don't close, they don't close right. Look, because they don't, they're not like, like regular sunglasses. So, like how are you supposed to put these in your pocket? <laughs> and they yeah. come with a case. They ain't come with a case. Like, where am I supposed to put these at? Oh, I thought those were like, not case. No, no case. Dang. So this is how this you get it in a cardboard. You get it in a cardboard case. That's it. Like it's I don't know. I did uh, a review on them. They're just not great, man. They're all right. Big House says um, two phones, S9 or Moto G6. Well, that's completely two different <laughs> price ranges. Um, you know, two hundred bucks for the Moto G6, seven hundred bucks for the for the Galaxy S9. I mean, you got five hundred dollar difference there. That Moto G6 is a really good phone. The G6 is an awesome little phone. It really is. But I mean, yeah, it's a big, big difference in price. But yeah, like Mills, the S nine all day. If you got the money to spend, um, but yeah, that's a whole different price, price brackets there. Yeah, 
I totally agree. I totally agree. No question about it. What's up, Neil? What's up? What's up? You about to say something? No, nah, no. Nah. Okay. I mean, I like. I mean, as far as being manufactured, I mean, I'm not the biggest Samsung fan out there. Everybody knows that. I like, but I do like Samsung better than I do LG. I'm not an LG fan. Everybody knows I'm not an LG fan that much. I, I have had some of their phones, uh, Boxster phones, but I mean, but God, LG just makes so many freaking phones. You know, I don't know, but I mean, a a a a CV. I totally agree. Because back in the days, I was an LG fan when they had the curved phone. What was that? Oh, yeah. LG Flex or whatever with the self healing back. Yeah. That right there was innovative. Right back then, they're just, they're just trying to copy off everybody else and do this and the third. And did what is the third? And it was refreshing for me to report that the V forty thin Q or think or whatever the hell they call it look, doesn't look like anybody else's phone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen it. Yes. So, you know what I'm saying? As far as the LG, I totally agree with you. I used to be a fan of them, but now I don't know what the hell's going on. Lembo Ferrari says, Nate Spit Robin was underrated. Man, that Nate Spit, that Nate Spit Robin, man, that thing was snappy. If you look, that thing was snappy. If you, <laughs> I think, man, I've seen some durability tests on them. Things. That thing, that thing was snappy. If you, <laughs> with the, with, the, with that hardly any pressure at all, I think we just snap in half. What was it called? The Robin, what? The Nate Spit Robin. <laughs> it was. was yeah, it, it, was, it was actually it was actually a nice looking nice looking phone, and from what I'm and everything, I mean, I mean, it was it was decent. It was, but it was made so fragile that it's like, I mean, if you barely if you barely done anything to it, it was. I mean, if you barely bend it, or it was snap. Hey guys, look 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 at these. These are the glasses. Look, can you hear? Can you guys hear this? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shit is loud, ain't it? Look at that, and it's like yeah. it literally, and you can't hear it once you pull it away. Like you can only hear it once it's against your once it's against your uh, okay. temples or whatever. Okay, MTR. So does the isn't bone, that dope? Hey, 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 MTR. Does, does the bone connected audio actually work? And how does it sound? It's bro. It sounds really like it sounds really good, but it kind of, it's weird because it's like open air, so you can still hear everything around you. Wow. But if you close, like if you if you like cover your ear. It's weird, dude. It sounds like God is putting the music inside your head. <laughs> it's so crazy. Like, look, you you guys can't really hear, right? Can you guys hear right now? Barely, right? Like, barely. Yeah. Now watch this. Watch this. Nice, right? So it's still getting brother here. Oh, you can barely hear. It? Yeah. Now. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, yeah. So, so it got to connect to your bones for real, for real, for us to hear. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. See, the thing about LG and me is uh, it's been a love hate thing because I know y'all remember I used to be core LG because I thought their devices were solid. I still buy them, but not like I used to. Well, I mean, to me, LG's day was like the beginning the beginning of android and back in the 2000s you know i mean th they made some of the best flip phones they made i mean to me i mean my, i mean my the lg optimus s or the optimus v you know optimus s for sprint optimus v for virgin mobile that phone was amazing for back in the day i mean that phone pretty much took out the majority of phones android wise back in what 2011 when that phone was released to whenever it was that phone was that phone was awesome until until they got an update to 2.3 gingerbread and then it just ruined the phone but that thing ran 2.2 froyo man that thing was boss it was but now it's just like what are they doing i don't know So, Tana, do you have do you have any um any plans to go to any events or anything like like that in the future or what? Uh, for the rest of this year, I'm working on Nia K, the girl who was on a rap game show with Jermaine Dupri and everything. 
She's mm -hmm. good. She just got signed with Def Jam, so I'm pretty much focusing on that through February. So, now I, honestly, I would love to go to CES in January, but I'll be working on that. How about yourself? Me? No, no. Uh, you're cutting out there, John. Yeah, yeah. To go see my mom and dad. What was it? No, just go, um, just going to go, you know what I'm saying, and then work on you know. You're cutting out bad, man. Yeah, yeah. Damn, I, I heard mom and dad, and yeah. That's about it. Yeah. And that's not like a great plan anyway, to go see the parents and everything. Massive that. What are y'all thoughts about 4G OT, Wi-Fi, building the vehicles? I think it's just something to, to make you more distracted while you're trying to drive. Hey, CV. Yo. How about the LG Flex 2 in red? Oh. Uh, man. I like it, man. Makes sense to me because the LG Flex was the baby mama proof fan. It was a baby mama proof phone. People, mm -hmm. if you don't know me, uh, I'm slightly ignorant, but it is what it is. You know, so your baby mama gonna get mad at you a little bit and try to throw the phone at you, whatever. The LG Flex was the first phone with the self healing back coating to it. So you talking about the LG Flex too? Beautiful. Mm hmm. I knew that Boost Mobile uh, sold the, the 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 G Flex G Flex two for a while. What is the deal with Boost Mobile releasing old flagships? Like they did it with the G six recently. They did it with the G four. Yeah, I would love like, for Cricket to do that, man. That'd be awesome. What do you think? Would that be awesome? Yeah, I think if Cricket just did something to rival Metro like they used to, that would be awesome. What do you mean? The 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 Ocatel of what's that phone they're coming out with? The Tetra. I can't, I can't even the, the Tetra. Tetra, yeah. The Tetra, oh, is that not enough? Tetra. Are you not amazed? The is awesome. <laughs> Man. <sighs> I don't even want to report on the news half the time when Chris comes out with stuff, dude. I just yeah, be excited, man. Because it, it's a joke now. I mean, Crick is, a, Crick, Crick is becoming a joke compared to these other carriers. Speaking of cricket, two more days until their platinum comes out. Mm -hmm. the, new, the new unlimited plan. Yeah, but they take it, they take before they give. So they took they took your now you're Deprioritized right right from the jump. And you're only streaming 480p. All right, good night, uh Sean Payton. Good night, CH Steel. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we're drop we're dropping people, man. So if y'all want if y'all want to get on out, let me know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I've been up there for a hot minute. Doesn't matter to me. Yeah, CB will stream till four o'clock, four or five o'clock in the morning. He don't give a shit. No, nah, I've been doing I've been doing that too much here lately, and I'm telling you, it's beginning to really start to affect me. Mm. Uh, I can't get I can't get nothing done during the day because I'm like I'm up all night, out all night, and then time you get home, get relaxed, get chill. It's like almost freaking sun up. Then he, then he get to sleep at like nine, ten o'clock in the morning, so <laughs> can't get nothing done. Understand. All right. Well, I'm about to sign off, people. It's been a blast. You know what I'm saying? MTR, thanks for having me on your stream. Matt, salute. You did, you did. If it weren't for hey, if it weren't for you even telling me about OBS or nothing, I wouldn't be doing tech reviews or none of that shit. I really appreciate you, brother. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Hey, CB Tech, Mail Hustles, you know, you my guys. I fuck with y'all all day, every day. And people, if you want to go ahead and know what Tech Swag and Life is about, 
Just go to my channel, subscribe and everything, and I got you covered. But also, man, stay right here with MTR. You know what I'm saying? That's my guy. No question about it. Mad salute. Awesome. Sir. Appreciate that, man. Well, Appreciate it, man. Do you sign off? Yeah, guys. I'll catch y'all later. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> yeah, subscribe. Y'all need subscribers. Yeah. All right. Peace out, guys.